Hello, everybody! Welcome back to the Remnant Podcast. It is I, your iconic host, Aviator Man, with our special guest, Jerry the Afro Man. And I'm not going to introduce Orange Man. I feel like you guys know him well enough. Oh, okay. uh, he doesn't deserve the yeah. special <laughs> introduction. <laughs> yeah, oh, there. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, don't he's everywhere. Yeah, now. exactly. I don't. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm not even going to say your name no more. I'm Hashtag done. Hashtag orange fever. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I don't even got to say your name no more. Straight up. Orange man is the first channel to reach one trillion subscribers. Exactly, bro. <laughs> I'll I'll get one trillion subscribers on OnlyFans. I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. This this podcast is actually for us to announce, you know, your one trillion um, uh, you know, play button. We actually we're we're like this is like the official, you know, exactly. To tell you about that. We're, really? Yeah, like we're we're congratulating you. Like we're we're officially proud to announce your one trillion YouTube play button is actually being sent to your house right now, and we actually have a cameraman ready there to see your reaction. Yep. Yo, that's it's gonna be like a mystery. We got TMZ, TM, we got TMZ, we, like, we got yo, we got everybody. No yo, way. yo, we got Scott. we blew up your oh, we blew up your house, Orange Man. We bought you a brand new house. Your family was in it, but that's okay. You get this my, new house. You also get this new, new one million. No, no, my new trillion dollar sub play button is my new house. <laughs> yes, sir. It's just YouTube. It's just YouTube the, history all, the, over, all over it. <laughs> It's just, it's just the whole the whole house is made out of like legit just pure diamond, but it's like in the shape of like a play button. Oh my god, oh boy. that would be epic. That yeah. would be epic. No lie. The, the the window is the actual like play button. You know, it's like the whole it's, play button. It's, it's just like, shaped. It's shaped, shaped like a play button. It's everything. Everything's yeah. shaped like a play button. The doorknob, the door, the bathroom, the bathtub, the pool. The, yeah, the, the, there's no there's the beds. there's no door. Like the, the door's there, but it's like they're all it's the same. Everything's the same color. That like it's pretty much like almost like a straw hideout. You can't even get in there because it's it's hidden so well. Exactly. Everything's just a play button at this point. YouTube will take over. <laughs> and then for yeah, and like- then for the hundred trillion ticket, hundred trillion play button, it'll be the you'll get your own country. And it's a play, shape mm. of a play button. How about that? Never cast stones from a glass house, but I live in a diamond house. So what are you gonna do about that? Huh? <laughs> the, the, the amount of people, like the amount of like the cringy people, would be like, "Oh my gosh, he, that's you know, he could get like a Minecraft." Like, uh, I just, so many people just relate to the Minecraft though. They'd be like, "Oh my gosh, you know how much diamonds he would have in mind to build that?" Or just like, I don't know. There's so like, oh, yeah. or even those, like logically, like didn't haven't they done a test with that before with like Minecraft pickaxes? But not Minecraft pickaxes, but like actual like diamond pickaxe. I don't know. I've I've heard somewhere they actually like use like gold. I like, actually like, did like a video on that a really long time ago where they just tried using oh like actual um, pickaxes. Like, actual, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like actual pickaxes with that type of no, stuff. I've never, I've never actually, I've never been, uh, uh, you know, I've never seen that video actually. Let me see. I've never uh seen a video of that idea I, of that test. Hey guys, ooh, 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 ooh. I've been doing a little bit of grinding off camera. Opens a double chest full of <laughs> locks of diamonds. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's 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 no big deal. I mean, honestly, at that point, with your one trillion subscribers, I mean, I, I'm, I would assume you just have a box just filled with more diamonds that you just throw at people when you're bored. Mm-hmm. You just like snipe them <laughs> with a yeah, slingshot. Exactly. I don't even care. Each each uh, diamond is gonna make someone a millionaire, but I'm just casting them around like it's like it's like it's toilet yeah, paper. Or something. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I mean, you're, you're helping, I mean, you're helping people at the same time, like, getting pleasure from, like, hitting them with that. Yeah. That would have to hurt, that would have to hurt so much, like, genuinely, that would hurt so much getting hit with, like, a just I, pure diamond. What are you gonna do if you get clocked out with a diamond and the guy is like, you can keep it? Like, what are you I, gonna do? I, I, I would, I would, ki- I would kiss the feet, I would kiss his feet, I'd be like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Thank you for assaulting Thank you. me with this diamond <laughs> and then letting me keep it. Exactly, bro. I will remember this day. I'll cherish it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, how has everyone? How has everyone just been as of lately? Um, I've been, been doing good. Happy. I've been chillaxing. I've been pretty mm-hmm. relieved ever since you know. Ever since Void Two, I've been just relieved. Been really Dude. chillaxing. Been playing a lot of games. Um. Yeah, the grace period after you yep, upload a video. I've been chilling. Yeah, especially especially something that long, dude. Because I mean, like with like me, with like the like the movie mm-hmm. thing, like you you did it of course very differently where you created all of it none of it went up publicly I me mean, i just threw the stuff out there and then put it all together later on mm-hmm. like that like you you having the ability to just keep all that there for that long we kept it would have driven, so like, secretive man yeah. so secretive that would have driven that would have driven me dude, insane dude. that would have driven me insane because like <sighs> like everything was hidden like almost the whole okay the only things obviously that were shown from boy 2 that were publicly was the fat devil but we didn't show the femboy or the, the gimp yeah. 
we showed just Frankie being painted mm-hmm. red, and then we didn't show Void's new, yeah. new suit and fit. The CGI was never shown. Diablo was rarely mm-hmm. shown. I didn't really show Diablo very often because I wanted him to be kind of keep his story secretive. But a lot of yeah. Void 2 was yeah. kept secret, and I, I'm glad I did because at least the story is it feels fresh and original, and it feels like mm-hmm. you guys aren't you guys didn't really pick up on anything from the trailers or anything else. So exactly, I know Barry, man. We'll Barry wanted to. In from because you wanted me to send more spoiler clips so you can make a trailer out, trailer uh, out of it. I was like Barry, I don't want people knowing the story. I was like, man, you you you've gone nuts. <laughs> you've gone nuts, bro. I, I, I was like, I, really I was bonkers. saying, I, I was I was saying that like like honestly though like the, the the part when Red Devil showed up, I was like, oh my god, like like him like <laughs> that, that that scene of it in slow motion, just his, him smoking. I was like, oh my, like that actually looked really cinematic. Like mm-hmm. for for that knowing that that's freaking Frankie just in red paint, like that that moment, I was like, oh my god, I am so excited <laughs> to watch this. <laughs> we, and I I, th- yeah, yeah. I really think we did really well with this film, the best we could. Um. Uh, I know later on I'm going to upgrade to a new camera. So th- this yeah. camera, this well, we we recorded it and like on a Sony DSLR. Um, mm. I, I, and it's crazy to think that I, I I don't know at this time at that time I thought this was the best I could get, but now that I'm working, I'm like, dude, yeah. I think I might upgrade to like an actual like Netflix certified film camera. Blah, blah, exactly, blah, so. exactly. Well, uh, yeah, no, okay. well, that, that's that, that's like I, I like just you speaking about that. I'm like in the I was in the same position. Mm-hmm. I um when I first started YouTube um I I just use like you know everyone uses their phone they start off with their phone whatever. yeah you know I used an iPod upgrade to a phone then um that phone was an Android but some its quality was dog dog shit but like somehow I thought that was even better than that the iPhone because it had a back camera because yeah. my iPod never had a back camera that's how old it oh is oh my god dude uh, yeah that's how old the iPod was because I got it when I was like in fifth grade mm-hmm. it's like uh, it's like ancient oh, but anyway god. then I I got I got I think I got like a uh god let, let me grab it really fast so i actually know the name of it it's a, it's a it's a canon dslr uh dslr microphone i mean uh camera yeah yeah and it's um uh, it was one of those like that's like that has like that that super zoom on it it go yes it has like nine you know has like the whole like hd you know 60 frames per second thing but it was a it was a canon um vixia hf r800 and has like 57 times advanced zoom. So like, you, like when when I say you could zoom on this stuff, you could zoom up from like a blade of grass from like forever a while, and like you like see crystal clear with it. Mm-hmm. And that's what was cool with it. But it wasn't really the highest quality, if that makes sense. But like I I I, mm. I you know I went with that thing for forever. And then kind of like what I've already mentioned, like when you like when you start working on a job, you like you actually make that money, and you're still like making more money. So like you actually have like you've you've made enough money where you can totally just buy that, yeah. you know, because it's it's like that much like it's something that's important to you. Mm-hmm. So then I. I then saved up forever and then bought a um, because the first camera was only two hundred dollars and the the camera that I finally kind of got was like around almost one thousand yeah. dollars just like with, with just with the like the the lens by itself. Gosh, the lenses are oh, gotta... insanely expensive because they're yeah. so because they're produced like they're 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 crafted with such detail that it needs to be yeah. this qual like high quality or like you just mm-hmm. you know what I mean they can't like obviously get away with like um you know forgetting a certain part now because everything is important with lenses so yeah really important yeah yeah yeah, yeah and, was, and the thing is I'm sorry go ahead um, oh, go ahead but i was talking about we we were talking to, uh, to jd about this like uh i have a, i got a dslr too because it's just mm-hmm. like the family camera mm-hmm. yeah uh, i was able to record stuff with it even as far back as my first video on mr multiverse channel and uh but uh, I mostly used um, a phone that I got, which was like, mm-hmm. because like I I remember being like, uh, okay, this is a really good phone. It was like the Tennis Max, and uh, it it was the first camera that could f- record in like 4K 60 frames per second. Oh yeah. yeah. And I was like, I I cannot break this camera. <laughs> if I if I break this phone, my channel ends. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, it, it, it's it's crazy like how just like one small thing like like and like especially like the because like obviously people can like go on do other stuff like in that moment you know, like you just that one object or that one camera like if it breaks like you know just that that whole mindset like fuck if like if this one thing breaks like i'm just yeah. i'm done for like i just I'm, i might as well just like delete my channel at that point yeah, yeah. I, I at first i was recording with this tablet oh i have the link right here it's this tablet it was a <laughs> yeah, the link. yeah Damn. i had it ready because i was gonna talk Widget, about it widgetree.com slash no, product but this is this is the tablet 16 gigabyte galaxy tab a eight yeah okay I'm just it was a samsung 16 gigabyte uh, <laughs> uh tablet and it was only able to record at 720p um 
Oh, classic. Yeah, yeah. I recorded a whole 16 gigs. Yeah, I, that's <laughs> dude. It, at the time, I was like, dude, there's no way I can really because I, I wasn't working. I was in my senior year and I was like, dude, I, I, I this is where I'm stuck at. I can't get any further. So but I recorded I used this camera all the way till I think uh, I hate Val. No, no. Uh, what is it? I think um, I can't remember either Yucatana boy or um, I hate Valentine's Day. But after that, I moved to like a random ass like uh, handy cam, you know, porn, you know, cameras they use the cameras they use for oh, porn. Oh, oh yeah, fan fantastic. Yeah, yeah, but that definitely <laughs> no, no, that no. definitely increased the quality of my videos. Though I won't lie. Yeah. yeah, and then after that, I, I, and, I, yeah. and, and, and the, 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 the feeling, it's such a good feeling, exactly. though, like, when you like, actually, like, upgrade, like, the, fir the first moment you try it out, you're like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, this camera right here that we were showing right here, I, I had a camera similar to this, not a Canon, but it's, like, a knockoff or something, but I had, I had the camera similar like this, to, like, yeah. this one as well, and then I jumped to, like, a, a, a Sony A6400, it was, like, 1,200, and, um, that was because I came back from Alaska, I was working in Alaska for a good bit, um, I always I always bring that up every every fucking t every opportunity mm -hmm. I bring it up I'm like yeah I went to Alaska blah 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 but yeah man I went to Alaska yeah dude. but I after working in Alaska I I had enough money I saved up and I still have the camera actually now so I, the camera that I've been using mm -hmm. now is the one I've been using since twenty nine or like late twenty nineteen I think yeah so mm -hmm. but I do plan on, uh, it's, it's, yeah I do plan on jumping uh forward to a new camera it's gonna be costing around like. Three thousand dollars. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. dude, like, if if you're if you're paying fucking th if you're excuse my language, but if you're paying th like three thousand dollars, you're gonna get like a like a like a professional like that's gonna be like a professional movie well, camera at that yes point. And, like, yes seriously. and no. For a used one, yes, but um, even three thousand dollars that gets that that gets you a mid tier um DSLR still. It's crazy. Like, I've been yeah. doing a lot of research on this stuff, and yeah, I'm gonna be paying for a used one because I'm not paying like six thousand dollars. Uh, for you know the camera I want, I, I'd rather buy a used one. It's insane yeah. to think about so that. It, it's called like the Black Magic. Yeah, the Black the oh yeah 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 Black, yeah. yeah I've heard Black of that. Magic Ursa Mini. Um, this thing is insane. Like I said, it's Netflix certified. I I, I really want to push my boundaries for uh film filmmaking and make David Rand show into a really deep film, not, not film but film like very uh, cinematic. Yeah yeah. Um, yeah. For me, like, there's um, I, I was looking at like uh, camcorders and the price and all that, mm -hmm. and uh, I just, I personally just wouldn't risk like putting that much money into a camera. I'd uh, like, there's like some cameras called like the Sony, uh, it's from Sony and like it records in like 4K 60 frames per second, and those mm -hmm. costs like 1.5K, and that's the most I'm willing to invest. Really? In. Uh, yeah, that's fair. That is fair. 1.5K is fair for yeah. a camera, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like, because like the one I have, um, currently, which is a, uh, like I, I, I got it right when it like came out. And, like everyone was like freaking out about how good it was, because mm -hmm. it's like you know how like cameras are usually just big, thick, and bulky, and they're just like they like they're just they're just really hard to like, carry around or bring around. Yeah. Yeah. My my it's called it's called the Canon M M M fifty, and pretty much oh, it's, yeah, it's like it pretty it. much f it it practically fits in your hand, but then when you and the great thing about it is it's a tiny body, mm -hmm. but then as soon as you like, you can like connect. Since it's a cam Canon prod prod, you know, product, you can connect a um really good lens to an eyeball, like a really expensive lens to it. Like called it was like a I can't remember what it was, but you know how it was like with like low light highlights and the like catalog just changes everything yeah. for it. I, I I bought a new lens for it. That I pretty much just keep strapped onto it at two point like at all times. Hey, that's up. And like the, the the quality of it is so good. And that's why I use, for example, like you guys have seen, like in like like pretty much practically all my videos mm -hmm. as of as of the last two years, I've been using my uh, that camera, Damn, and that was yeah. only like that was only like around eight hundred to nine hundred or maybe around a thousand dollars just with you know like the, the accessories with okay. it. The camera itself was about eight hundred dollars without the new lens. Damn man, lenses really uh, lenses really push you forward, man. Like it's yeah. insane. They, they they yeah. I got an interesting question for you crazy guys. Expensive. What is what is the best shot that you think you've ever recorded so far in your channel's history? I have a couple. Hold oh up, I really gotta look. Hold up, I got a couple. Oh god, he, he's about he's about to pull yeah, a let couple. Me, let me see yeah. real quick. I know there's one from, <laughs> I, from the mirrored battle, the season three finale. Immediately, I think that's my best like sh like well shot like a uh, uh, video, and that was recorded in 1080p, but it's still well shot, and I I still think some of the for me personally, I still think this one was well, was a, was shot a lot better than Void Two, but Void Two still really good in my mm -hmm. opinion. But 
um, for me, the mirrored battle takes the cake for like best shots in my opinion. Yeah, for me, uh, I don't know if I'll change my mind like after looking at more of my own videos uh, yeah. soon or it just like when I drop the finale. But uh, this my first like video I ever posted still has the coolest like shot for me because of just how mm -hmm. vibrant it is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I posted like, in the chat it's like the thumbnail. It's, yeah, I was about to say the thumbnail itself looks like the, like just the color grading itself just looks beautiful. It's hard, bro. And how how much how much of how much of that was the camera itself or just uh, I how think much I didn't color grade it. I don't think I knew how to color grade back then. So that was all. Then, from the then if, if, oh my god, then if that's if that's without color grading, then that's like a, that's beautiful. Then I know. like generally that's beautiful. I know, yeah, I know I, Void 2 I color graded. Everything crazy. I've never color graded in my life. Void 2 is the only one where I it color graded semi yeah. here and there and put it LUTs and filters and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. My, it's it's so difficult specifically with Premiere Pro. Like, I don't know, I don't know why they haven't fixed or how they have not figured out like how to, you know, correct it, but like Premiere Pro just really lacks in the actual color grading It section. really does. Uh, Do you have the option where if you go to color, you can like hit auto and it just automatically yeah. adjusts mm -hmm. it? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the yeah, only some, thing some, I know how to do. <laughs> yeah, sometimes like I, I like I'm that's the one thing I've like I'm I, decent with. I'm like that's I'm good of color. I'm good of like I guess contrast and that stuff. But like it just when I you know how it is like where when you get a brand new computer, it works good regardless. But after a while, it, just, it craps out and no matter like how good you treat it. It just never is the same as it when you first got it. Yeah, that's that's just how my laptop is now. At one point, I actually was able to use DaVinci Resolve actually before I used Premiere. Yeah, and somehow using DaVinci was more smoother, more easier. But keep 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 in mind that this laptop, I got it back all the way in like twenty fifth. No, no, not 2015, 28, 20, like early twenty seventeen, I think, and yeah. around around that, just around that time, twenty seventeen or twenty eighteen. And this is only has eight gigabytes of RAM and it just isn't used for what it should be used for right now. Damn. <laughs> and so I, I I used to use DaVinci Resolve and DaVinci Resolve is the best color grading software you will ever it find. It is. It really is. It, it beats a lot of the video editing softwares and it's still, even today, uh, known as for the best color grading there is. Video editing wise, yeah, hell no. Crazy. Hell no, it's not. That's crazy. Yeah. I was looking up. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm taking classes for video editing and the instructor mm. himself said DaVinci is like one of the top tier grading things. Like, it is. And it's free, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's versions. Everything with color grading is completely free and like even the free version is pretty much almost is like equally practically just as good as Premiere Pro yeah. is. They just don't, they just, they just keep you not allowed to like, use like effects that are just, that are like built in. Yeah. But, like honestly, you can just throw those effects in generally you know when you hop into different like editing software so literally you have a free editing you know like color grader at all time and the guy I talked to like um i i got in contact with like, a professional from a actual business who like him and i met up and got, had coffee together and i asked him questions like I, I i talked to him and he like everything i said like i just threw in like about like davinci resolve threw in about all, all that stuff and he completely agreed with everything i was saying to him like i was like yeah you know like i you know thing is with you know with premiere it's it's editing is like i mean it's like color grading is terrible and he, he legit like lapped with me and he, and he was he like talked about it. he's like man like he's like i i know right <laughs> and like the, the, the guy like the guy he rolled his eyes over me talking about that because like he he fully agreed with that and then how premiere crashes all the time like for like it just premiere crashes for no reason all the time but with davinci i've never had it like when i was able to use it for my you know my laptops on its like last breath it's like on a laptop cooler pretty much surviving off of it it uh it worked so well never crashed once it just lagged that was all it did but premiere it kicks me out probably three out of the you know seven times that i use it damn yeah that's nuts um uh, yeah I'm, I'm looking into davinci resolve right now and i might get that it's just for some reason like i all i clump all these alternative video editing mm -hmm. softwares together like sometimes i can't tell filmora apart from davinci <laughs> no, like, exactly. yeah which yeah. one's which <laughs> but, i mean and that's one thing too is like it's i prefer to be because my issue though with it is that practically if you almost wanted to have good color grading you would have to you know edit your clips almost in davinci i mean in davinci which is a you know because you don't want to do like for example like if you're messing with green screen stuff you don't want to have to um you know send both that stuff separately in there and then export it separately. You'd much rather just have it all where you're actually using the main place, for example, Premiere. So it's almost like one of those like 
after like after you finish everything throw it in there color grade and then export that out and then you know because it's just it's a pain it's just a pain in the butt because it's not like how you know premiere is and with after effects where it's like dual it's pretty much a dual you know software you can send one in and it goes through in and out through the other you know what I mean? yeah yeah and so davinci davinci can be a pain in the butt but like frankie for example he doesn't have that problem because he can he can color you know that guy frankie he can you know <laughs> edit all that because he, he edits on that that's yeah. that's his main editing software yeah because and it, his color grading is phenomenal yeah, he really likes davinci because it's easy to use it's super easy like i i, I got davinci a while ago um I liked it, but it wasn't enough for what I do. Cause what Frankie does, he does he yeah. does commentary, and it's a lot of just transitioning and um, just getting the next slide over the next, uh, basically just from one clip to a next. So it's kind of it's good for what yeah. he does, in my opinion. But like, let's say if he wants to do like, like let's say what what, what me and Orange Man do with like uh, masking and you know um, content aware tools and all this crazy stuff. Da Vinci cannot do that. Da Vinci is not. I don't think is um, as yeah. versatile as, as it, Adobe. It can't. It can't. I don't think it can. Even if they tried with it, mm-hmm. it can't. And the thing is, it's also like if if you use Da Vinci, if you use like Premiere Pro all the time, and you walk into Da Vinci, you're like, what the f- what, what the fuck is all of this? Mm-hmm. It's it's confusing. Even like even just doing the color grading, it just looks really confusing because you have to. It's like almost like playing like a connect the dots game or. Mm-hmm. If you want to connect this, if you want to connect this color to this, or if you want to use the screen screen for this, you have to like drag an input and an output and like physically drag it to a clip. Yeah. And that just looks so weird compared to Premiere, where it's really just drop it on that. Okay, this has that quality. Mm-hmm. It's Wait, like it's Davinci weird. She has like, nodes. Oh no. Yeah. Oh yeah. It has it's it has like, nodes. Oh no. I remember color grading like, has finding nodes. Finding out about everything. nodes in Blender and like my head like <laughs> just caves in. <laughs> Dude, no. I, I that's that's why I stopped doing it because like when I started getting like more advanced. I was like, I can't do this anymore. I need to. I'm gonna do something else. And then I found Premiere, you know, maybe legal or illegal, you know, <laughs> means. But I, but I found Definitely I got I got legal. Premiere. Very legal. And it worked. It works amazing. It worked amazing. Everything just made sense. And like editing that took me so much longer in DaVinci, I can get by get done ten times faster. So like, I feel like for example that guy Frankie, if if he were able to use you know Premiere for example. But like have like the same color grading aspects and stuff. He would he would probably get videos out ten times faster because like editing is just so quick, so fast, and you know you know in Premiere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but true. that's that's why people don't use DaVinci for anything else. Oftentimes, besides actually just color grading, like even professionals literally just use DaVinci Resolve for color grading, which is hilarious. Yeah, I I I, I, I literally confirmed. Like I said I confirmed with a professional video editor from like State Farm. Like he's like all the way up. He's all the way up there in like the State Farm area. You know. A big company and he's all like i legit was talking like he was like an, like a little buddy because i mean i was like yeah i know like the whole thing of you know davinci resolve and like it's i only use it for color grading he's like yeah everyone does that like up where, where i work i'm like oh my god yeah yeah so it's unfortunately i guess that's kind of what davinci's only purpose is <laughs> yeah oftentimes it is, it is a little but, sad but, but but you do see online though a lot of people are or like you see like all these videos if you look it up just say DaVinci versus um Premiere a lot of people are like why I quit Premiere and now full time doing DaVinci mm-hmm. like there's <laughs> there's there's like all these this all this like thing now cuz DaVinci is so good supposedly and a lot of reasons people are like now switching over from using Premiere like to that and so I I just find that interesting cuz a lot of people are like oh my gosh you know I'm going to use this for main time I'm just going to use this for all the time but I feel like honestly in my in my book Premiere works just well for actual editing and just probably export that stuff and just throw it in davinci color grade and then you're good mm-hmm. yeah uh mm. oh boy yeah i i i'm not extremely experienced at like color grading or audio mm-hmm. it's 3d i've really been investing in and 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 you can you can really tell that with um with how good you are with that man like that's yeah. that's like oh, like the audio the audio and like like the like guess like color grading is like something i enjoy doing but like like what what like you oh my god dude like you just everything that you've done with that is incredible especially like how like you practically just started learning how to use blender didn't you like oh like almost like a month ago it seems like yeah so i've been like trying to wrap my head around it for probably over a year but yeah uh, i only could really start taking it seriously once i got this new pc the gaming pc yeah. was... <laughs> it's not gaming, a gaming PC. pc it's a workstation <laughs> stop calling <laughs> it a <laughs> gaming <laughs> pc i'm so sick and tired of looking up pc components and it's all gaming, gaming. this will improve your gaming, gaming. i don't want it for gaming i want it oh, for actual i'm gonna play gary's stuff. mod <laughs> 
This will help you in Gary's Mod. Oh, yeah. Everyone's, like, contacting me and be like, yo, where'd you get that map? Did you get it from Gary's Mod? I didn't get it from a game. I model it because I'm actually a yo, grown up. Bro, are you gonna, are you gonna <laughs> use um, some shaders? Are you gonna use some really good shaders on Minecraft now? That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Did you make this in Minecraft, bro? The shaders and mods are so realistic. Bro, it is bro, it's like, so good. It's like, like it's like, like you're gonna use an X-ray hack and just completely cheat in Minecraft and steal all the diamonds and netherite. Okay, this is slander. Oh, what's this going on? Slander. Oh, what do you mean? I did what do you mean not, slander? I did not use X-ray. I was just really good at Minecraft and was able to find I did, I did, twenty mm, orange man. blocks. But I didn't. Uh, but number, I didn't say. Okay? I didn't associate with you. I just said it as a random joke. But you're a no, no. I know. I, you were you're really defending yourself. You were ghost targeting. No, I'm not. You were, you I, were, you were subtweeting. There's no such thing. You have no proof. Yeah, you were subtweeting. I'm not cry about it. I think. Aviator man, are you being passive aggressive? I am not. I'm being yeah. a truther. Mm, oh, a truther. Yeah, exactly. A truther, He's a liar. Huh? Mm. You, 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 a whistleblower, expo exposing the deep corruption. Yep. Of, of yes. my <laughs> X-ray mods. Yep. Yeah. Who's that one guy. Do you, that... you got a gap in your tooth whenever you just blow, you just whistle. John, who's that one guy that that exposed the NSA for for some shit in the government? I don't remember his name. Uh, it's He's like probably Edward dead now. Snowden. I'm Snowden. I'm ex I'm exactly like Snowden. I'm about to try I'm about to hide myself in Hong Kong and, and or hide my hide yeah, you, away you from you. You better run. A, <laughs> you, you better go run and hide with Ratnik. I will. Yeah, I, I will. We will <laughs> expose your ass. Well, you better go to where to, to Putin's dungeon because that's the only place oh. that I'm. I won't be able to get my hands on. Yeah, you good. After I, I Jerry deported Ratnik. <laughs> That was awesome, Man, I, I, saw, I saw one of those vans today, and I legit was thinking about that just the entire way. Because like I was driving home, and like they're like it was like a one one of those like things where you can't pass them because it's one of those just roads where you just can't pass people on. And so I was there for like I saw like five minutes just behind them the entire time. I was just rethinking, rethinking, rethinking of just Ratnik just there crying like like just the, the, the clip, van. yeah, just crying, just staring into the screen like like <laughs> when I when I just when he sent me the clips while even editing them, just the way he looks at the camera makes me so sad. I'm like no, <laughs> Ratnik, no, <laughs> no, sorry, <laughs> please forgive me. Damn, bro. <laughs> But Bro. yeah, is I Would wonder you... if that's gonna be canon in Ratnik lore. Like he's gonna <laughs> next video, he's gonna be trapped in Putin's dungeon and he's gonna have to break out. It's gonna be epic. I was gonna say like 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 we're actually gonna have like like any, pretty much practically my 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 whole philosophy is that like any character I bring in once, like they're kind of like for sure like in there now. You know, canon. It's like they're able to come back like any time. So yeah. Rat Ratnik Ratnik's for sure coming back like in a few different times whenever we just like want to use him. I gotta, nice. like, I've been trying to get all of you guys into it, like, slowly, but surely. So far, that guy, Frankie, I finally just got in there, and I just need you, Orange Man, and then also need you, Aviator yeah. Man. I have, um, I, I was get, I was able to get Shaq Wizard. He played the whole, um, penis, um, penis, uh, horse <laughs> porn at the very start. Yeah. No, 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 no. A horse porn. Yeah, I realized I that. <laughs> And did, did you know, like, right. did you know, like the second the second voice that's like, no, he's using it to spy. That's a kid in high school. Oh, really? Yeah, like, like, like Shaq Wizard's like a like a like Shaq Wizard sounded younger and like more like a kid than like the actual kid did. And that's what makes it so funny. That's why I used like the green screen of like an old man versus like a <laughs> young like businessman. That's funny because like the yeah the, the kids like I think only like a sophomore in high school. Wow, crazy. Because the one. The one that the one that corrects him, if if you guys uh if they clear that up, the one who corrects him is like, oh yeah, no, he's using it for other reasons. He's like a non-sexual reason. Oh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. I, oh, oh I, I didn't really. Oh, but I was gonna, I was oh, gonna say yeah. about collabs. Um, I I've been thinking about it. When it comes to when it comes to collabs, I I'm a little I'm a little mixed on it because I like to do things kind of like um more eventful. Mm -hmm. Like um, yeah. I know with Frankie, I it, with with the I I know I collab with them all the fucking time because we live right next to each other. But like I know if I ever plan to collab with you guys, I legit want to physically either go there or you guys are part of the main story of the video or something like that. I, I, I see. yeah. So um, I do plan I I do plan on you know having some collab ideas with you guys. But I just mm -hmm. I need to figure out really how to get to where you guys are at. That's kind of the whole idea. So. Yeah. So so far, so far, Orange Man has had me like in like a quite a few things. He's had some of my songs in there. He had the meme in there. He had my voice in there. So like, I got I for sure gotta get a get a time and just get it like just get like a a good idea on how like to bring you into like the whole like video mm -hmm. videos because I'm trying to figure that out right now. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it's with both of you because it's it's hard to bring some people in. like that guy Frankie. The only reason I was able to bring him on because like the way he speaks or the way he like he like randomly says something reminds me of a, kind of reminds me of Alex Jones. <laughs> So we came up with like an Alex Jones like character, and he he performed his part. He he ripped a button by accident playing this Alex Jones like 
thing. Um, oh boy. Yeah, like he like it was he couldn't see it on camera, but as soon as he's like pooing, pooing, and he stands up, he like rips his shirt and like his button broke, but like it, he it did, he stopped recording and like sent me like only like a bit of it where yeah. it wasn't there, but he sent me a photo of his his button ripped and everything after Damn. that scene. Um, what is it? I I have an idea for a collab. It's gonna be a um, um. I I'm also going to attempt. I'm going to attempt a a backrooms uh v- video as well. It's more of just making fun of the backrooms. But um, yeah. Yeah, the whole the whole vacuum. <laughs> Me and whole... Saul actually talked about the same thing. Actually. Yeah, because I was gonna make a video making fun of how everyone's doing one. Yes, Orange Man, I'm gonna make fun of you exactly. too. I'm gonna <laughs> wait. What? I'm gonna make fun of Orange Man's videos as well. Not seriously, but it's gonna be more, yeah. light, more lighthearted because yeah. everybody is making one. I, I see that, it. That's that's the it issue. Is ins- that's, that's... It is insane. Like I I, I Orange I... Man, I I, come, I like your videos because I understand yours is legit. Yours is it's more of a parody of the ba- of the backrooms because everybody treats the backrooms as it's, it's like you know main character steps in they see monster they die you know what i mean it's all kind yeah, of they like run and they, they turn die. they turn around the monster's not there they look back the monster's still yeah. only there and it's running at them really fast like, oh! like the only re- like the only reason why i think orange man's videos stand out is because it literally flips the back rooms upside down and be like all right we're yeah. not gonna do the same shit piss you know off I mean? so yeah like i'm i'm just gonna be yeah. kind of making fun of more of the videos like that are just yeah. all the same where like the main character steps in he doesn't know what he's doing he's like how did yeah. i get here then he dies at the end so I, I actually introduced that idea to um Cameron Chronicles like 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 a few days ago. I was like, hey man, mm-hmm. so for the next video, I was thinking, what if we like, I, I'm I'm just feeling like something because like we because right now since college you know about to, like really pick up because like we only have about like a few weeks left before call it like before like the, it's the summer so like grades you know are really important yeah so um we don't have any time for like anything big like the poo video only took um two weeks complete just two weeks like we like we we wrote the script Monday mm-hmm. started recording like. Uh, it, just, it it was crazy fast how good like how high quality it was for how fast we got it out. Damn. But w- after we got that out, we're like, yeah, okay, we we got to make sure like whatever we're doing is very just like you know, like more laid back, more chill. So like I'm figuring out right now if I'm gonna do a music video, like a laid back music video, a a rant video or something. Mm-hmm. But like I was like, what if we did like a like a parody, like made made fun of you know the back rooms or something. But then Saul was like, well, you know, the thing is like because it's being like so overplayed right now you'd kind of be, like, part of, you know, th- that whole thing of, like, you know, you're playing a part of it because you are still, like, technically joining in on it. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, that's true. And so we decided we we aren't actually going to end up doing a backrooms thing. But, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm beyond excited to see what you have for that mm-hmm. aviator, man. Like For for the the collab, I have Barry part of it. Um, mm-hmm. Barry is going to be playing a uh, a salesman pitch. Uh, I got a salesman. He's going to be pitching the backrooms, each, like, different, <laughs> different variants of the backrooms for sale. Room one. Yeah. Level level one, level level and zero. Level it's gonna get five. more and more disturbing, and uh, I I'll figure out how how it gets resolved right now. But the right now, what I have as yeah. like a synopsis is, you know, there's a guy who's selling the backrooms, and he he's pitching to him as like a like a '90s commercial sale, basically just saying like <laughs> like uh, it, he gives the vibes. Honestly, though, like respect, like I don't know, just, Barry just really gives off the vibes of like a like a '90s like <laughs> a eight, eight, 19, 1980s or 1990s salesman. And I think uh, I think I might subtly put like sub sub subtly sub subtly sub oh my god subtly, subtly yeah I, I can't i'm trying to now. figure out how to say it. i'm fucking stupid but i'm gonna pull Very i'm gonna good. i'm gonna see if i can put like different like hitting cam- like cameos and references like obviously at orange man i think i might put you in there but i'm not sure yet um Bring me in. uh i'm gonna have to, Bring i'm gonna have to like i plan on please. i plan on sneaking people like in the background like in the background of each back rooms kind of like just hidden in the in the like in the corners of each room yeah, um, if you need any, if if you if you need anyone, yeah, I, I'm here. I, I'm gonna have you guys. I'm gonna have you guys. You guys are gonna be hidden hidden uh, characters <laughs> in the back. So, so <laughs> I'm, I'm excited I'm, to see that. So uh, I'm guessing what you're gonna do is you're going to like uh, make a bunch of images of the back rooms and just green screen yourself in. Uh, I'm no, I'm gonna make 3D models of each back rooms. Oh, you can actually try and use. I'm going to attempt it. I'm going to make each. Like, hold up, I have, have a list. Hold up, let me show you. What, okay. Let me show you which ones. How, how good is your computer? Like, do you have a good computer for that? Like, do you have a desktop? Uh, yeah, I have a whole PC. It's just the only thing that lags behind me is the graphics card. But I can, I can, I can wait a day for it to, um, render out. Man, all all you guys got all this shit, and I'm yeah. over here just with Premiere Pro. But the only reason why Orange Man has like the huge leap all over us is because he has the 3090. That thing has fucking yeah. saved him. <laughs> only only for right now. Yeah. I mean, well, I'm not. I, I think I think I'm degrading some mm-hmm. of the stuff. Not de- don't degrade. That sounds so bad. Like I can't even use that word anymore nowadays with how it's used. I'm like I'm like um lessening some maybe some of it because mm. well he we got how he was like a like a, a really high end one. So I'm like I'm I, I'm able to ho- like hop down on some yeah. of it. But I'm I'm planning on um getting exactly 
some some something nearby that with like kind of basing it off of that so i actually can actually use after effects and actually use blender and those sub mm -hmm. things over the summer because yeah. i'm okay. yeah i'm going to yeah because yeah I, i'm going to be buying a 3080 so that's something i'm going to be 30 it's basically just a, a it's a 10 under 3090 but it, it, it yeah 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 it, it, but, it, i mean I, I, was, I was just being i was just being curious i, yeah, I know what that is i'm gonna get a 3080 <laughs> sorry uh, i didn't and uh, sorry sorry i didn't mean to be like yeah, this is actually a sorry i didn't mean to be like that but. okay so actually the the specs <laughs> the specs of this is actually 20 times better <laughs> yeah no i know I, I completely get that like, yeah, I, 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 I i was trying i was trying to sound like i was interested but i was also like showing that i was interested but saying like, oh we're like like really yeah and they're like Ooh. no my bad my bad you see the 3090 has uh, 24 gigabytes of VRAM, which is completely in contrast to the 3080 because it doesn't have nearly as much VRAM. you see 90 minus 10 is exactly equal to 80. jerry you freaking idiot exactly bro you moron Jerry, you freaking. But I do. Yeah. I want the 3080 because it is like, it's like vastly superior to what my what my gra graphics card is. My graphics card. Oh yeah, no, no doubt. Let me see what year it came are, out. <laughs> what, what, are you gonna get like an i5 or i9 or what are you gonna get? Like, what do you have right now for years? For what the CPU or the the Intel? Intel. What do you mean like yeah. for uh like um the yeah the CPU? Oh right? yeah yeah. Oh, I already have uh, my CPU. It's a um. Hold on, let me pull up Task Manager. <laughs> if I recall, it's like aren't they called like i nines or like i five? Oh, I mean, like, like the, the, the really the, yeah, yeah. oh the really advanced like CPUs. Um, yeah, uh, maybe I'm not sure if I want to get a new CPU because I'm not, I don't really care for the CPU. Like, yes, I understand it's super important, but I don't feel like it provides the the strength that RAM yeah. and and the graphics card yeah. does. CPU is cool, but it's not what I what I need at the moment. Yeah, and yeah. I'll also think, think I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say that um, my brother, he looked a lot into PCs and he would tell me that really all you need is to meet the requirements that you need for like what you want to do on your computer, but you also don't want to bottle cap yourself. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. Uh, with, with something else. And that's actually what was happening like uh, uh, like with this PC. Um, I was bottle capping myself because I only had 32 gigabytes of RAM and with Blender, mm -hmm. like it can demand a lot more than that and After Effects, like mm -hmm. those two yeah. programs open at the same time. So uh, I just got some new RAM and now I have 96 gigs of RAM. And that's that's insane because like the thing is i um uh, when, when i'm going because i'm going for like a laptop all the way to like something like, like this brand you know the brand new pc and it's gonna be like crazy just like how i'll actually be able like to not have to like like you know beg for my premiere because like pretty much just for example going to, from like the editing tab just to color color tab it does a thing where like it's, it looks like it's about to like um kick you out because like everything goes gray oh, no. and white and like no that, that's how that's how bad it is and so yeah, i have like to wait vomits. like five. that's insane no no yeah no I, I i just just from going to the editing tab to the color tab it takes five like it goes zero not responding i'm like fuck and it's a it's a ten it's a five out of ten chance one out it's a 50 50 chance pretty much for it to kick out so you, you pretty much i don't touch anything so if that happens i i, I like like i go oh and, like i move my hands up I'm like oh and then it takes about 10 seconds and then it loads. And I'm like, okay, it's good. And I, I press save. Like the amount of times I save just how scared I am is like unnatural. I'm like, I'm like one of those, like, I, I act like a coder when it's just yeah, yeah. saving. I'm like control save, control save, control, control save. Dude, Blender and, doesn't have an auto save feature. Oh, so I, oh I'm God. always, I'm completely like, it's a habit to hit control mm -hmm. S now. Cause if yeah. I forget to do that and like, I like make a new material I was working really hard on and then mm -hmm. I lose all that progress. That's just a huge pain. And so, yeah. And then, and then the one thing about just talking about like PCs in general, like the reason I am like going full, like going all for it is because a like, guy, I, I was, you know, I, I kind of talking about college cause I know I kind of was talking to you guys slightly about that. I was majoring as a cybersecurity major. And so I, you know, I did that. I did like the whole general credits on like the, the other electives before you can actually take like that type of stuff and so i i, I finally got it on like the second semester of the second year of course because it, it takes a lot of general credits and so i finally get to the coding classes and i'm like oh my god i hate this like i with a burning passion i was up almost like 2 a.m every night just coding like for a solid two weeks i'm like oh, i cannot do this anymore so i was like really i'm yeah like the, the, the coding is like was insane maybe i just have a terrible teacher because somehow this teacher is my computer science 115 teacher and my computer science 130 teacher so i had her for two different coding classes yeah. and like on, on, on top of that like this like when i wasn't like i wasn't aware you know, i had adhd for like the way i can remember things or focus mm -hmm. on things like something that would take it takes a lot of people like 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 five minutes takes me about like 15 minutes or like 30 minutes it's like i'm at a disadvantage as it is with like stuff that i really don't like doing so i found myself really struggling and i was like i, I can't do this anymore 
So then I was like, I'm, I might figure out something else. So I, after a while, talk with my dad. He, he's, he's in, like, when I say strict, he's like the strictest, strictest person you could ever meet. If you don't do like an IT job, he pretty much calls you a failure or a foo-foo job. So like any job you choose that isn't anything that does with like IT or like, isn't like, you're not an accountant. Like my, my oldest sister's um, a vet. My second oldest sister is an accountant. My little sister gets like 110% in like her math classes and her like geography class and like all the classes that a lot of people aren't that good at. My dad is an like, IT manager at um like a really high up, you know, state farm. And so it's like uh, seeing all that stuff, you feel like you have to go into a job that you either hate to get good money or, you know, you, you know, are disappointed. So it's like, oh God. So that's why I went into it because I knew I wanted to do video editing since I was a freshman. So I got, it's come full circle now to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm not going to live the rest of my life, you know, being like, a bad you know shitty person that like, just hates my life you know, i'm gonna do something i enjoy so i was like i'm gonna do so that's right now i'm just trying to figure out if i go into marketing or video editing but having this computer will really help with that regardless if i'm doing marketing or that because like this this computer not only will be like helpful for you know like the my professional like you know professional you know career in the future but also it's going to be really good for like just hobby you know like testing editing like learning yeah yeah definitely yeah, when it comes to I, I definitely would probably just go into marketing when it comes to studying because I feel like video editing we like there is so many tutorials for video editing. There's like loads and loads and loads of tutorials. Like I feel like there's nothing really that college can really provide um, more than what yeah. you know um, more than what YouTube can provide because I feel like YouTube is basically just you know it's free and you know what I mean you can't really you beat it and it's got almost yeah. there's there's basically a tutorial for every setting in video editing every neat yeah. tip and trick and it's like what yeah you're gonna, like you're gonna be paying to do video editing or to do to, to study video editing while you can when you can't have the opportunity to do to study it for free uh yeah i don't know the thing is like it's like right now i'm like at a community college like i'm compared like paying like twenty thousand dollars a year I'm, i've only been paying like about two thousand maybe five hundred and so like the thing is what i'm my my, my thought process is because i'm changing my major like pretty much like almost last second mm-hmm. I was already like, um, I was already uh, accepted into a. Uh, it was, I think it was IS. I'm already, I'm already like, accepted into like a four year college as a cybersecurity major. But I was like, you know, I can't do that. So like, the thing is, if I'm going to marketing, because those classes are a lot more blocked off, I would then be stuck at. Um, I'd actually be stuck another semester at my, uh, at my uh, community college, which really sucks. So like a lot of my friends, like a lot of a lot of people, like my significant other, my all my friends are all at the ISU place and. It's like they just it's it's a completely different world. You know, like when you're like going to a small college while everyone else is like doing something else. Like there's always something going on, and just it's like it's a very lonely feeling. And that's why I'm like, do I you know go into marketing and stay another semester, or do I maybe I minor in marketing, or I go into film and digital media? Because with like become like a video editor and stuff, like pretty much you you practically if you just have really good reels, if you have really good you know like if if you if you have if you just have experience, they're pretty much like oh yeah hell yeah because it like, turns out I. I was led to believe my entire life that video editors, you know, don't make anything. You're like, you not won't find a job. But like, video editors are actually in a high demand. Like the 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 need for video editors has been growing too. They really are. So it's yeah. more like, and so that's that's why I'm trying to de- debate genuinely because I've been talking to like a lot of professionals, um, and like because like I got in contact with a guy who I, who I don't know how, but like I met him when I was in high school. I was I'm in high school early high school. I was a he was a substitute teacher and I pretty much was talking to him randomly about video editing or somehow I was talking to him about video editing. It was like years ago, like over four years ago. He was like, oh yeah, no, I'm, I do that stuff on my free time. Like I, that's actually my, my profession besides, you know, when I like, I'm a substitute for stuff. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah. And he pretty much like gave me his number and stuff. <laughs> and I've been in con- contact with him for over four years. I just recently messaged him. I was like, hey man, um, I'm thinking of doing this. What, what do you need to do? So then he then got in contact with people from like LA, like people who are like, professionals from LA who are like video editors like do like they don't actually specifically video they more like actually like make stuff Mm -hmm. and they're like oh yeah we um we we suggest that you for video editing you don't actually really need a major you just need to have stuff like if you want to like get the best bang of your buck if you're going to college right now you might as well just go into marketing and like or like minor in marketing or something just have have that because a lot of people will take a marketer people who have been in marketing just because simply you know they've you know, a marketing degree, like, is good for business, you know, it's good for, like, companies. Yeah. And so, Man, when, yeah. I, when I was in college, everyone wanted an economics degree. Really? Oh, you, everyone's, yeah. young, everyone's, like, really young, like, education or, like, like young, like, childhood education here. Or like a, or, like, a language teacher or, like, a, like, a geography teacher. It's always so many teachers. It's just, like, business or economics, all that, like... <laughs> really? 
that that's that's the go to because these people aren't like really interested in whatever job they're gonna get with their uh, uh like major their their little piece of paper they get after college they just want yeah. to get the safest thing right yeah and then I realize this is where the masses go to get their dead end jobs now <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Gen genuinely. <laughs> So I was like, okay, I, I and and also I was paying really cheap for college. So I, I got like this whole um, internship at the Museum of Natural History and like got mm -hmm. some into some really lucky positions and and got some uh, like like titles for uh, under my portfolio. So my mm -hmm. college like gave me like, a ton of scholarships, but I still saw that I was uh, I had to pay and, and my parents were paying it at first like thousands of dollars per month and i was like you know what i i'm not gonna fall into this debt i'm not gonna do yeah. it so i just uh, pulled out i was like uh i'm going to take the semester off and think about it later but honestly i don't think i'm going back to college um that, that's my thing is like it's because once again like you like uh, like that's like my not big like deep fear because the issue is because my like as, as i just explained a lot of, like with my siblings and stuff like all of them are just really like talented with, like math and stuff and, yeah. and like things like when i'm like on medication it's working correctly i'm really good with math and stuff so i'm just like them in that sense but like it's i think just because my my life because of just in general has been like pa paved a different way mm -hmm. i never can become what they are no matter how much i could try and if I were to do that stuff, I'd be, I generally would be miserable, like, my entire life. I'd just hate it, you know, every second of it. Because, yeah. like, math, math is a big thing, you know, because math, you can do stuff with accounting. Math, you can do stuff with, like, it's numbers. It's just how your mind processes things. You're either a very logical person or you're, like, very, you know, like, a very more creative person. Because some people who have more logic or a lot less, you know, emotional or a lot less, um, uh, you know, kind of, like, understanding of like that like the more of the creative arts and then complete completely the opposite some people who tend to not be sometimes the smartest in that way are like the most creative people and just because it seeing a lot of people could the, a lot of the big jobs that you see are because of like the that statistical or like that whole like i guess it involves math involves numbers involves you know computers that stuff really gets you far or like, ad, like and that's why i you know you know everyone goes into that type of stuff mm -hmm. And so you you find out like like my sister who's a vet she's now like not even actually she she spent guy she she spent freaking eight years in college eight years Jeez. and Damn. she she's paid all of her debt off but she's not she's she's making practically just as much as my sister who make, who does accounting so like imagine spending all, like college is like the more I've gone into it I'm not one of those people who's like oh my god man I just don't want to work I don't want to do <laughs> stuff but it's, it's generally like I, I now that I'm like in the process of doing stuff and I'm seeing people like graduate I'm just seeing people like live their lives like genuinely college it's nothing but like a paper that people will look at and be like okay yeah you have this all right it's cool but like that's why when i started looking at video editing i kind of was like almost like a over like i was just over i was overwhelmed because there's like so much stuff where it just pretty much just said you didn't need a degree or anything you just needed to have experience you just need experience you just need experience I'm like jesus christ like was going to college even worth this entire time i could have been like actually like really diving into like editing i could have really been doing stuff besides all these like late stressful nights you know i've spent like doing stuff and stuff like I've, I've pretty much these last two years i've been doing nothing but school work and you know like stuck in my stuck in my room you know seeing friends every once in a while but like i it's 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 over it's it's overwhelming because you know like if you could have this entire time not done that you know because you're seeing all these people like for example teachers teachers take like, a lot of work to get in that but then you find out how just terrible like how low paying teaching is like you go into this job you know pay all this money and as you said orange man you know just that debt that you get into it just it's it blows my mind that you can go all that way just go all the way be the, you could be the smartest person get all a pluses but it's not really going to matter it's really it may not even matter by the time you graduate yeah if if you know what you want in college at this point there isn't much of a difference between uh that and doing your research online and gaining experience mm -hmm. Uh, in being motivated to do so yeah besides a two hundred thousand dollar piece of paper that you get at exactly and, and, and that, even that's what... then even then for college like most of the time it's not what you want to do mm -hmm. you're just exactly. doing you're just going through the motions of uh, mm -hmm. how you think uh growing up is supposed to be and all that yeah 
and then that's things like it's like it's not like everyone like fakes it for example when they go into like certain majors like there's for example like my um my 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 my, my, my current like significant other she um she likes cybersecurity. She loves that. Like she's really good at coding and she's, she actually is like, that's like easy to her. She likes solving these problems. And for me, I'm the complete opposite. I despise it. I hate it. I remember way back then my dad pretty much forced me to go to, um, this like little, like this, like little like convention to like learn how to code, which wasn't related to school or anything. I was like only like a sophomore, like a junior. And I think it was like a, like a sophomore. Yeah. And I remember going to that and just hating every moment. I just felt like absolute dog shit. And I remember going back and my dad's like oh did you like it i'm like uh yeah <laughs> you know and then i remember when i was actually signing up for my classes i remember just the the, the most gut-wrenching feeling as i talked to people about how they're doing code like about like coding like majoring that and stuff because i had to go to this, like this like, big orientation thing and i just like man i the way it made me feel was like terrible but yeah i still went, went with it because you know you have you have society and, like all these you know like um all these influencers and like, I'm like, society. not influencers, not, 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 yeah. Society, you know, like influencers, but like, but like, like I, I, I'm completely surrounded. You guys are probably the same way. I'm, I'm surrounded by very successful siblings. I'm very successful, you know, parents. Um, and like, it's, it's overwhelming because then you feel like you have to do that. And like when your parents are only telling you, oh, you have, this, this is the only job practically you can get because any, any other job you're not going to get paid well. And yeah, you, you have to do a job that involves math. You have to do a job that involves computers or you're going to, you're going to fail in life. You're not going to be good. And so like that, you know, of course that's going to traumatize you and you're like, oh fuck, you know, I need to do this, you know, for like my future or I'm going to be like on the road. I, um, I went to cybersecurity, as you said, and I spent the, I spent the last two years pretending that, you know, I wanted to learn about it, you know, and like, what I was just scared because since I can actually take the credits until I had my general credits all the way, actually being exposed to coding, I realized just how much I hated it. And yeah. now I'm now I'm stuck at day one over again. It feels like I'm a, I feels like I'm a little senior in high school over again when COVID hit. Mm -hmm. You know, I I feel like you know, do I go into marketing? Because if I go into marketing, I'm stuck another semester here. You know, at my this you know community college that's tiny. Do I go into film and digital media that I have at that college? Because you know, it just it's all that stuff. We're just like, if I'm going to do something, I might as well go full into it. Because worst case scenario, you know, you get out of college you get a get a side job because like the, the whole the whole you already guys already know the whole how how it works for most college students they 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 get the degree they either get a job right after they, they pretty much get a degree as they right as they walk out or they work a side job and then they apply for internships we know while living in an apartment they get that you know it's pretty much you just everything that you know survives off of is everyone survives off you know like finding a big company something they survive off of it and that's just, it's stressful because it's, it's very much, you know, just the whole idea of, you know, like, you know, consumerism, you just, you hop in there, you know, and you're just like, okay, yep, I'll work for you. And then you pretty much work, you know, a basic time schedule, you know, you work the same time, five, you know, for example, six in the morning until 3 p.m. every day. And just, it's, I feel like that just completely just suck my soul, especially if I was, you know, in cybersecurity or like a, a math job or some sort of job that I would hate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I. I tried coding myself one time. Oh, you did? In high school, I had a computer science class, and we I was trying to learn HTML. And, oh, yeah. Uh, I, I took one look at it, and I was like, I, I don't want to do this yeah, anymore. I, and the, yeah. you see, the difference between me and most other people is when someone doesn't want to do something, but they have to, they mull over it, and I, yeah. I get it done in the end. I just don't do it. <laughs> yeah. So I ended up like uh, it, it, computer science was like one of my worst grades oh, man. in my class. And I, I was able to pass by, I, I'm not afraid of, I'm not uh, like uh, embarrassed to admit this. I got my father to uh, help me code uh, the How game that I needed to get the whole thing. <laughs> Like to get my How? grade pass passing level, yeah. And like he was, it was like, dude, why I'm do doing I have the same to do right all now. this for you? But in the end, oh my god, we we uh, he got it done and uh, he he made like little sprites, like a little like orange man and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I um, I'm actually the same thing. That's because I I actually dropped one of my classes because like since I'm not majoring in that anymore, I don't even need to take them. But one of the classes I have a high, I have a really high B in, and the only reason I'm having a high B in there is because my my significant other and also there's this one guy who helped me like this one time. So that's the only way like I can't, we've gone so advanced into the class that I, I still don't even know how to do the hello world. Like I'm somehow so far in the class with such a high B 
that they're like doing like three like they're like doing like three different four different sections you know, like how they all connect together to like create like one out output like you have like a, a section that's like completely like on like a different page com different page different page different page and they all like somehow like like almost like funnel into like a whole and like all fit together into like one thing we're like we're so far advanced that like there's like there's hit points there's like critical attack there's there's so much stuff that's going on there's like i don't know what the fuck's going on it's like <laughs> i sit there in class not understanding a thing and then I'm just, I just take notes then because I bring it home and then show my significant other, you know, show a, like show a friend who like, or even, even there's like a, there's a tutor there. Yeah. You just bring it to him and he will, you know, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm just doing this homework assignment. And he's like, okay. And then you like, it takes probably about three days for us to work on it, even though he's like a genius. And like, I don't understand how they think, you know, kids can do that. Like, well, I mean, just, I, I, I'm, you know, Orange Man, you, I mean, you, you and I, I guess both of them the same way. It just, it doesn't man i just don't like it and just it doesn't come to me i mean i looked at it and i was like oh god no yeah yeah what you, um and so i was gonna say no you can take you can do you can do no 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 you're good I was, I was gonna just finish that off kind of what i've been saying again so like on oh, yeah. top so that's like uh with spanish like i i felt the same way because uh when we had to like start dealing with new ways of uh of saying words and stuff i was still stuck on conjugations yeah right oh yeah yeah I, and I was like, wait, where the heck are we going? <laughs> and, uh, and, and, but the thing is, is I didn't have anyone to talk to about this mm -hmm. stuff or like I, I didn't care enough. So I just went home and was like, well, I learned nothing and I need to learn s stuff to continue like uh, passing this class. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, no, exactly. I, 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 I did all the way through Spanish three, and I, I survived actually pretty good on that. But like, it was because I, like, we'd do like the whole like speaking tests and stuff. So like, it'd be like, oh, it's like you know, talk to your partner or talk to the teacher about you know this thing you did. And I just, I just would say it so often that I just memorize it. And it's like I actually didn't even know what I was saying. I just was able to memorize it really well, yeah. Yeah. somehow. So what are you saying, but, Aviator Man? Okay, I was about to say, um, when it comes to when it comes to grades and stuff like that with school. I am. I was not a very intelligent person. Um, now I feel like I feel like mm. I can say I'm very. I, I feel like I can say I, I'm okay with uh, certain curriculums like reading, math, and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. literally, from freshman to junior you year, I, I am not afraid to admit it. I have received several Fs. I have received. God damn! Seriously. Yes, I am not afraid to admit that. Like you know what I mean? Because I, I I hear I hear no. people say like. You know, I'm embarrassed to say this. I had a C in this grade. I'm like, oh, boy. yeah, that's exactly how I am. Like, that's how I am. Like, I, like for me, I don't care. I don't mind that because I think I think it's funny because I'm like, dude, there are people who get F's and they literally struggle to even get a passing grade. And that I was one of those people. So I don't know. When I think of C's mm -hmm. and B's and A's, I'm like, dude, that's passing. That is passing. That is, you know, you're doing your best to get that grade up. I understand it's not your GPA is not the best of what it could be, but you're doing your best that you know. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Um. But straight up, I had F's. I never. I was not a very intelligent person. I couldn't understand math. I failed math from freshman to junior year because I couldn't understand it. My senior year is when it really kind of clicked in. I was like, dude, how did I not understand this before? And then just immediately, I just kind of just immediately rushed all of my previous credits just to get them all made up, and I I got them pretty quickly done. Um. So mm -hmm. other subjects, I I know it was due. To, I had S due to like uh, lack of uh attendance, absences, and stuff like that. And literally, my freshman or junior year, I think. I was missing over like 13 credits, dude. Oh, Incredible, dude. How incredi incredibly crazy. Senior year, they op how do you do that? You just don't go to school. Don't go to school, or you don't pay attention to class. <laughs> so I've I've never missed I've never missed a day of school. Yeah, um, I've missed so oh, much really? school. It's insane, and, and I don't mean to flex that because it's not it's not a flex, and it shouldn't be. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I have only I have only missed a day of school, um. If it was only like like in a like a family emergency, yeah. like one time a bowling bowling pin flew and like made my a shark tooth thing. Like I had a shark tooth ne yeah. necklace on, it hit me and hit my eye. And, like Ouch. blood, just, I like get yeah, just a huge blood. Yeah, but really, or you know, like significant other dying. That's the only way I ever like I never not showed up to school. Senior year, senior year, I had sixty absences, sixty oh my, oh my. freaking absences, ah. and I don't even think that was oh, the I most. I think my other grades I had more, but. 60 absences for, for my senior year and i really i asked every teacher hey are you, am i are you guys cool with me having because some teachers don't care right? like that's the that's the truth the teacher's mm -hmm. like well if you have a passing grade i don't care if you have this many absences so because that's the truth because my senior year is when i had straight a's I, at that point i was like dude i really gotta graduate so senior year i buckled up you know i put my big boy boots on and everything and straight up i had i've never had the highest grades in my life and senior year i had straight a's i think like one b but i didn't really care 
Um, I, I had all A's. I think one teacher was. I think one teacher barely passed me because he was going through a divorce, so he just didn't care. But God dang. Yeah, yeah, but I had some luck on my side. But um, like my wife left me, so fuck this one person in particular. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you oh AB. my god. And then my sixty absences. I asked some teachers. I had to start in a play like two times. I had to do. Um, I had to like do. I think voluntary. Um. I think help. I had to tutor other students and stuff like that to make up my uh, absences. Dude, oh my lord! Uh, you, you remind me of the Grinch oh. and like how the Grinch stole oh my Christmas. God. Like you're you're like, I, you're like you're like this terrible little gremlin <laughs> creature, and then they're like you're like oh the the, the meaning of Christmas. Yeah, that's... and then like now you're like, you're like helping everyone. Yeah. Like, <laughs> his heart grew two sizes larger that day. Mm-hmm. But my senior year is when I really oh, picked he... up, and I graduated, <laughs> and I got my got my diploma with like a one point three GPA. Uh, cause overall, man, like, cause <laughs> I, there was nothing I could have done to really fix my GPA at that, at that age. You know what I mean? Like you had a one, you had a one point. Yeah. 1.3 GPA because, oh my God. because I can't fix that because I can't like time travel to go back in time to fix my previous credits. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, and I, I thought that was kind of unfair. I'm like, well, shouldn't I still get like, you know, shouldn't that be raised up? Can I just retake that? And I understand like maybe I could have at that age, but I didn't know, but no one provided me that yeah. option to raise it up. Cause I'm like, yeah, I made mistakes for my freshman or junior year, but my senior year, here I am. I I am well aware that I've made mistakes and and I'm legit getting mm-hmm. these credits done. Is it possible I can raise my GPA to you know possibly higher? No. You once you fail the credits, that it's over. You know what I mean? You, you get well, my, my my thought process is like um I guess it's because like, you just have like much lenience and you're, like your um I guess like with household and stuff you're just like kind of just like okay go to school whatever yeah. and then like, come back. Well, Completely it's awesome. a bit mixed. I had like family trouble in the past. Um, it yeah. was I think like freshman to like sophomore. Family divorce. Mm-hmm. There was a divorce that happened, so yeah. Well, that's, that's really unchanged a lot. Yeah, of stuff. that like, really. That's, that's complete. I mean, that's complete. Normal. Yeah, when we went through a huge struggle, um, we mm-hmm. went through like I think we went through like I think my 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 mom and dad went through a divorce like twice or something like that. Man, sad yeah. stuff. But no, um, yeah, and it just it just that just really that just really like makes you know realize like how how unimportant you know school is. Yeah. I was one of those really stupid, like little like Christian boys, like wore like jeans every day to school. Yeah, and it like because like school wasn't my priority like, at the time. I was like, dude, I I don't care for mm-hmm. school because it's not the what's happening. Literally, my parents are fucking getting divorced. The fuck do you mean I gotta care for fucking yeah. Spanish? <laughs> well, exactly. Yeah. So well, it's Spanish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like what? Like well, I'm like, why do I gotta learn Spanish when my parents are literally struggling to even survive, or my dad's going through yeah. stuff at the moment? You know what I mean? Like it's just I, you know that stuff. Exactly. School doesn't seem important because and I was younger at that time, so I'm like, dude fuck school um, i feel like my family's more important mm, exactly. i feel like i should be you know gain getting being close as i can to my family because we're literally going through like mm-hmm. like moving out and you know we're being like my yeah. my dad's struggling to pay bills and stuff like that and we're going through hard times and stuff like that and um mm-hmm. school just wasn't it you know what i mean and uh, well no, i mean that, that makes that makes yeah. complete sense like the crazy thing is like i was on the complete other side of that spectrum like my pretty much but that's that, that's all i know my dad for he pretty much is work at him and pretty much so he's like the whole situation if I, if I speak to him anything that doesn't involve school he like pretty much turns it around to school so i'll be like oh yeah dad like i'm, I'm depressed he's like mm, well make sure your fails your grades don't fail oh. like that's not even like that's not even like i'm not, I'm not joking yeah. that's like an actual quote from yeah him. That sucks. he also tells me he's, he's like yeah he's like i'm not your friend he's, he's like I'm, I'm your dad not your friend keep that in mind. like and he Yeesh. says it all the time repeats yeah. that to me yeah so i i was one of those you know overly religious you know little gene wearing boys yeah. you know who went to school and who tried his best but like since since of my ADHD was like somehow I don't know how they didn't diagnose me mm-hmm. but I I try I, like I was one of those people like I fully put in the effort I fully tried but I just couldn't if that makes sense like I, like, I was like because school was the only thing that I was kind of like born for at that time practically mm-hmm. it was like school do school school mm-hmm. school I'm like I'm like the equivalent of like a, a like a, a Asian parent a stereotypical Asian parent but white parents <laughs> yeah. But like I said, because then that's yeah. but yeah, that, I mean that like the the, the the cleaner that up though, it's because my my dad when he was really young, his parents went through a divorce and he pretty much had to raise his siblings mm-hmm. and so he he never actually got to kind of have like that, that you know that whole childhood sense so he pretty much had to grow up fast and because of that he he realized you know, like how he, in his mind how important you know like college is how important schooling mm-hmm. is because if not they're not going to get anywhere but because of that that terrify you know that's going to terrify your kid if you tell them you're not going to amount to anything you're not going to do well if you don't get a good job in school yeah. and like do a good job in school and that and so yeah yeah i was i had like a 3.2 gpa that's good but th- oh, another thing i do not like about like parents um with like mm-hmm. with like kids you know students or kids who who feared of getting a c or b and stuff like that i'm like like i said yeah, just me yeah me. you what i'm saying is like you shouldn't <laughs> beat yourself too much on it because literally there are kids like who are probably like who are literally in your same grade class literally failing or struggling to even understand yeah. that you know what i mean like 
and any you, anytime I'd get an F, anytime I'd get an F on like a math, I'd like become suicidal for a little bit. Just that, that's yeah. how that's how serious don't, it was. Don't don't beat yourself then. on that. You're doing good from C's to A's. That's good in my opinion. You're getting the topic done. Mm-hmm. See, yeah, I understand that is you know seventy percent or like you know that is the middle. But hey, you're getting it done. You know, you're doing it the best of your ability. And yeah, when it gets to D yeah. and F's, that is when you're struggling. But you know what I mean? Yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna say like I, I know it's like to bring that back up, but so I want to let you know I'm really like just from when you told me like how you're able like to deal with all that and like really like I guess like really we're able to do all that stuff like your senior year. Like I'm just I want to say like I'm really proud of you for that. Like that's like that's insane. That's why like I was having such a reaction. <laughs> like that's crazy that you know you're able to go through all of that and then at the end at, at the end of all of that pick pick yourself up and like do all those things that you did. Yeah. And, like that's that's June like insane man. Like I'm I'm beyond proud of you for mm-hmm. that. Like that that blows my Thank mind. Thank you. I appreciate that. I wish there was an award for something like that. It would have been cool. Like you know, like seniors who finish their credits or blah blah blah. <laughs> I don't know something, but no. I mean, it's, it's like one of those things. It's like it's like yeah. a self self proud, like self pride. Like dude, like that's that's something I, if in my situation, if I was like that, I would have been like, oh my gosh, like. But like I'm, I'm, I'm not just mm-hmm. it's the, like the amount of pride you should feel for that dude. Like that, that's incredible. I appreciate that. But uh, Jerry, I yeah. think I shared the same like childhood in uh, like going to. Uh, school in jeans and a college <laughs> shirt as you mm-hmm. like to an extent but I, yeah. I think the difference for me was uh i would i was actually interested in doing well in school myself at first but mm-hmm. uh slowly i my int- as my interests diverged from school i stopped caring for school and yeah. when i got worse grades my parents weren't uh critical of it but mm-hmm. I ended up being critical of myself in, yeah. in like compensation, and yeah. I, I I I I don't really like know it, if there's like a metaphor, or just a, a something to say about like the the difference between us. But I I I think that's interesting. And uh, yeah, because like on top of that, like I guess like the the like the dive. I mean, like I guess the add to that is like yeah, I, I'm like I I was in in the same sense sort of with how you are. Avian man in a way. I mean, I mean not Avian man, but Orange man <laughs> yeah. because like I, I started off like into school, but like I remember, I struggled with stuff. I had to go like to summer school at one point. I don't even remember what it was for. I had to, like be like in, in a math RTI, like a math curriculum, as like a really young kid because I just didn't understand math. I, you know, and like yeah. I remember that like I, despite like despite like how much the effort I had at the very beginning, like no matter how hard I tried, I just it couldn't interest. It couldn't keep interested in me. And so I'd always like end up like drawing in math class or I'd always end up just drawing in class. Cause back then I, before I did YouTube, you know, before I actually found like, you know, like my, like my, my big hobby, I would draw all the time. Oh or, yeah. I, I was a huge drawer too. And my, yeah. And my issue is like, I would draw on papers all the time. That turns out that's actually a thing that happens. Like if you like, you compulsively draw all, like I like, like yeah, front yeah. to front to front to back, every corner was filled yeah, with like same. drawings. Dude, compulsive my drawings. Composition <laughs> notebooks. Yeah, my composition drawings. notebooks. My composition notebooks were filled with the, the covers were completely just destroyed with pen marks and like different patterns God and damn, things like man. Draw. yeah and the thing the thing is like i would try to stop myself though. like that's the thing is like it's i despite fighting with that because like that's like um part of it because that, that's the things that i realized is what really set me apart is like i think i would have been just how my sisters are right now if i didn't have whatever whatever is wrong with my mind because I, w- I was like like i tried so hard and like i like it sounds really bad. I'd like I'd angrily scribble out anytime I like I'd draw something. I would get pissed at myself and I'd scribble Damn, it out. Yeah, man. So it'd be like this. Is, it looks just like these like uh like these like this. You know how it's like when there's like those um like Charlie Brown. You know, like whenever that one dirty like that one dirty guy like that like that dirt just like follows him around like that's just, like that like cloud just like scratched out like dirt stuff. Yeah. If you guys remember that or whatever. Yeah. But like that's probably a really close thing. Not even like a related or like uh current thing. But anyway. It just like I would scratch like any drawing I made, I would like scratch it out and like make sure it didn't even look like it was a drawing because I was so pissed at myself. Like because I didn't try to do it, I would just end up drawing. I get pissed off because I'm trying to focus because I would get yelled at, you know, at home. Ho- like home life, it's like although it was like the same, you know, if like the whole like you know you, you like you every man like having like a divorce, like this is like the family itself like falling apart like that. I didn't have that. I would come home and like I'd be like pretty much like verbally like verbally pretty much like talked down to, kind of I guess but emotionally or like manipulative like manipulatively abused and then like. Uh, because of that like over the weekends and stuff like I, like uh, i wonder how you guys' weekends were but, like every weekend for me so every friday afternoon we would be f- we would pretty much be forced to go to the cabin so we'd go like two so imagine just leaving your house two hours away no internet connection Ugh, no wi-fi cabin <laughs> yeah and like you you would work you i mean we, we didn't have like we didn't have a actual toilet so we had an outhouse oh, for man. over 18 years yeah no we had an outhouse and just, yeah no yeah <laughs> we had we and so we did we did physical labor like pretty much we'd just do that every weekend we'd pretty much be dad's like little um little um 
uh, slaves, minions, pretty much, yeah. you know, in a way. Yeah, no, we, like, we'd be, like, cutting down trees and stuff, and we'd be, like, um, doing stuff, and I just, that, I, I hated it, because, like, like, his, his free time, like, he, like, what he would, he's, like, okay, guys, it's time to take a break, it would be, like, fishing, and, like, that, like, I don't like fishing, but, like, that's the only thing my family wanted to do, and it's, like, I always just really stood apart from my family, because they all liked fishing, they all liked doing stuff, like, I would, like, much rather, like, play in the woods or something, and it's, like, I didn't, like, I honestly had pretty much, like, one of those really weird childhoods where, like, my only friends I had were completely just in person like in person for like you know friends like i yeah. i'd not have any outside of school friends yeah jerry i want you to know that uh you, you while your family definitely like uh had a lot of different like things with like their interests or mm -hmm. uh, what they did in their free time uh, i i don't uh, want you to think that because you were doing different things that there was anything wrong with you in that i think you're just different and uh they weren't willing to um, yeah like uh well, understand that and then that's 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 still like i think like actually like june like um I, I don't i hate using the word trauma but like it's i think it's that generally i have trauma from that because even now like doing stuff like i i feel terrible for doing stuff that i want to do and still to this day when i do something else that other people don't want to do yeah. i like feel absolutely like i feel like absolute mm -hmm. dog shit like so like for example like a friend's like oh let's go out and do this i'm like okay yeah but then like i would have completely wanted a different thing and i feel bad when i actually speak up so i think that caused me to have almost a um uh almost like one of those like i guess like submissive personalities even though you know and because of that and it's like i my entire life i felt very different like i didn't have like any like actual outside of like school friends because of that like over the weekend would pretty much work and like the only friend i had was my cousin who lived by us and pretty much yeah and so like my entire life i pretty much like mentally felt that anything i thought wasn't correct and so i thought just i was weird i was very different and like you know you know i was like as a kid like you're of course gonna ignore that mm -hmm, yeah. like that's something that was like always ate me up alive inside because i remember um you know all my siblings would be like it's still to this day even like as a fool and like before i knew i had adhd and just like having different interests and like having just a, like you know very strict you know uh blockheaded you know like uh, of like a parent you know parents and siblings i uh you know i i would compare myself like just like just like even like at the age of 19 I was comparing myself to my younger sibling just because she was so much better at school than I was. Yeah. And, like, I, and I, of course, wasn't going to admit it because, you know, you know, you're supposed to be an older sibling, but, like, it just felt like no one respected me in that way because of my parents, like, because my, I guess, specifically my dad, my dad in the scenario would be very, um, like, very much it's my way or the highway. And if you have anything you want to do, it will only, like, I, it's just like the whole thing where you turn it pretty much where it's like, oh, you want to do this? No. <sighs> but then some, he, he, will, he will make you. But then whenever you, like he'll pretty much make you feel like you have a choice but it's literally just his options like oh choose one or two it's your choice yeah. I'm like oh okay let's do two and he's like okay well, yeah for sure let's do one oh. I'm like what no i want two and he's like oh one like that, that's that's how he, like you're just a manipulative Jesus, you know, thing and that's things like that's just how families are you know like, and the thing is like there's no family that's really perfect in that sense but like because of that i i'm i because of just having that sort of relationship with my family where even even to this even i don't know if you guys know this but I am actually not allowed to be Jerry pretty much in the household. Um, if my dad catches me being like ever like dressed up as Jerry or like doing anything Jerry related, he gets like physically pissed off yeah. at me. So like I, like, there's one time when I was filming, you know, you know the scene where Jerry's um, above, bad. above Ratnik when he just has the gun yeah. and he's like, he's like, ah, oh, I'm going to deport you. <laughs> I was recording that when my, when my dad was home and I hear him coming down the stairs. So I had to, ri I had to rip no. off all my like clothing. Uh, no, I, yeah, no, I, I ripped off my wig. I ripped off my, um, after when I had to hide it and he comes down, he's like, oh, he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, um, I'm doing, um, I'm doing stuff for school. <laughs> and because I, you know, I, I, I ripped everything off so he couldn't, you know, see that. Like when I say fast, like he's like, the stairs are like only like pretty, like you pretty much go down and you see Jesus. everything. So I, like, I ripped that stuff off and I hit it right away. And then he's like, oh, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, school. He's like, oh, I, I thought I heard something. I'm like, uh, yeah. No, I was, I was like, oh yeah, no, you didn't hear anything. He's like, oh, I thought I heard, you know, something strange. I'm like, oh, it's probably just my music or something. <laughs> So they don't know about your YouTube channel. They just oh, like, they're aware of the, no, the void. <laughs> no, they they they, they, com they completely are aware of it, but they've only seen like one video out of my entire like seven years of doing YouTube. Damn. Like when when I say the they don't when even I say care the, to look it up to see you're still uploading. Um, they don't care about any of my hobbies. They they truthfully do not give a shit about any of my hobbies. Like I know that's yeah, it's, I, I, it hurts to say this publicly. I mean, even publicly, but like just in general, but like they do not give a fuck about anything that I am interested in. But my, my sibling, my siblings, though, on their end, of course, pretend to be that stuff. They're like, oh, yeah, you know, but, but you know how it's like with siblings, you know, they're just kind of like, they're kind of there for it, but like, they're like not fully there. But it's like, not, it's not like how it is with friends, you know, like how friends are like, oh, yeah, yeah, dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. For them, it's like, it's half of like, oh, that's awesome. It's like, it's half of like a, 
good friend who's someone interested like my, yeah you know, I, of course siblings are just be supportive i relate i mm-hmm. relate to that with the siblings like my siblings they it's more of in a sense like they like they kind of understand what i do but at the same time they question like yeah. things do like literally when i bought my camera for youtube my my little brother's like well why would you sp- like i wouldn't spend that much for a camera exactly. i'm like well i do because yeah. i Dude. i like what i do i think it's yeah. fun so I, I, well, I know, ma- I imagine did. imagine that imagine that with my com- with computer like I'm, i legit brought up to my family i was like at a family event i was like yeah no i'm I'm thinking of just getting a computer. My mom like looked at me like as if like I just like s- like like cuss like I like I like physically like stabbed oh like her like mother or something. No, no, no. Seriously, she looked like that, and then all my sis- siblings looked at me too, and they're like, "Um, what, what for? Like, what do you need that for?" And I'm like, "I, I, I need it for like ed- editing and stuff." Like even my dad, like he he's pretty much um blackmailing me right now with school to even get a computer. Mm-hmm. Like, he's blackmailing me right now. He's not allow- He's not allowing me to get a computer. He he pretty much just said I'm not allowed to get a computer. Um, until like the end of the, I, I pretty much did, like, I, I, I had to write an entire paper pretty much saying why I wanted a computer and I had to give it to him. And he was like, oh yeah, we will see it by the end of like, by the end of the school year. And I was like, no, he was like, no, like I, dad, dad, I don't think you understand. I want it right now. Like I want this right now. He's like, well, that's just going to, you know, distract you. I'm like, no, it's not like I really edit right now. Oh yeah. He, he asked me like, if, if, if I, if I admit to him, that I'm working on a YouTube project, he gets angry at me. So I'm not allowed to tell him I'm working on a YouTube project. I'm not allowed to be work on anything like anytime i stay home over the weekend by myself i'm not supposed to be able to go out anywhere only unless they tell me like if i if they allow me to and if i even mention like something small like i haven't seen a friend like over like for example imagine i haven't seen a friend like over a year i'm like hey i want like for like just maybe like two hours i want to see my home like, i want to see like a friend i haven't seen and he's like and then you'll be like you remember you know this could have been time you could have used for studying oh. No, that's no, 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 that's an that's an exact. I'm not even joking. That's an exact quote. I'm, I'm sometimes bad at quotations, but like that's an exact quote. That that's you said. cringe. Yeah, that is like, cringe. I I was I was talking about this to you like in like yeah in, in DMs and stuff like, over yeah over the course. But um, uh, I don't really like like getting into other people's like their personal lives or telling mm-hmm. them like what's what. But I I I genuinely feel sorry for you with uh how it, it, it with your side of the story mm-hmm. and all, yeah well his his mindset like because the thing is like i'm as as my therapist says because <laughs> i got because I, I got a therapist just for like get like figure out if i had adhd so like i just still i just still chill with her because i think it's fun just to talk and like you know it's it's, it's only nice just like having like some like a professional just like letting stuff out and, like they're emotionally intelligent but like she was like she got like, him like you're very emotionally intelligent i've never met someone as emotionally intelligent as you i'm like what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> and then, and then, she's, and she's, and then she's, she's like, she's like, have you ever heard of an empath? I'm like, oh, oh my no. fuck, you are not no, about to call no, me an no, empath. No, no, <laughs> no. And she, and no, she, she's like, yeah. I'm like, you're an empath. I legit like physically cringe. She's like, are you okay? I'm, I'm like, I'm like, yeah. Um, it just that's a um social media <laughs> like word that's like used for like really cringy stuff. And like, like it's I'm. Is there like any other <laughs> way to phrase that? And she's like, she's like, well, she, she's like, you're very so. She's like, you're like very emotionally mature. Like for like a lot of people I've met. I'm like. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, and it's like, I guess, like, w- w- with, I guess, that, that terming, as I just, I, I can, like, my issue is that I, like, I, before even, I'm allowed to even judge someone, I kind of, like, just look at, like, their position that they're in before I even, like, actually, like, think or do anything against them. So a lot of times, if someone does, like, something really shitty to me, I instead, like, I instead, like, rationalize why they did it before I even have the, like, the ability to, um, like, actually, like, react. Like, for example, if someone, like, pissed me off, I, like, or, like, pretty much, like, call me, like, I'm, like, a piece of shit person or, like, made fun of me publicly, like, in class or something. Like I wouldn't like be like, oh, you're like you're a fucking cunt, bitch. You're, like I, I like I'd sit there silently, you know, and then I'd like rationalize, like, okay, like, why is he doing that? Does he have like a bad home life or something? But, like that's not like that's a good thing to have for moments. But like if you like if that's all you think whenever like someone like does something aggressive to you, you know, I think that's because of my home life, like my you know, my dad like not never being never being physically abusive. And, like once again, like when I, of course, I'm bringing out these like these bad things, but like, he's. He's also like a good person, but he's that's just how he's raised, and that's the thing is like, like for for the whole computer stuff, I can look at it very obviously because like his his side of things, he believes that I should be focusing on school, and that I can work on that some other time. But really, my these next four years of my life should be focused on school, and I shouldn't really. He pretty much tells me I shouldn't have time for hobbies. Damn. So that that's that's his mindset, and so he 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 believes that. I could, if I were to get this, maybe this desktop, like, right away, or, like, get it before this summer, even during the summer, that it could actually take away from my studies, or I might spend too much time on it, and that, you know, I might enjoy it too much, and that's, yeah. that's, 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 that's his genuine mindset, and I was like, well, I was like, well, dad, and also, he's, he also, like, printed off my, all the, like, everything, like, because his, he's connected to my, um, debit card, <sighs> he one day just, he just, one day just printed off 
all the stuff I bought the last four months and was p angry at me. He's like, these last five months, you have used $2,000. And I'm like, um, <laughs> yeah. Because the thing is, like, the thing is, I'm very, like, I'm very emotional. I'm like, I'm very, like, money conscious and that comes from my mom because like my, my, my mom yeah. like it's your own because money she, too right? yeah but the thing yeah but the thing is but the thing is like my mom also she's she's very money cautious like she's money cautious because um she grew yeah. up poor mm -hmm. and because of that she brings out into us and makes make, makes me feel bad. like anything i've ever bought in my life she pretty much makes me feel bad for it damn bro and that, that, and that, that, that's her thing it's like anything i buy i i for example if i bought something i really want i i feel terrible about it. like for example i bought a um I think I bought Minecraft. <laughs> I felt terrible about it because it was $25. Yeah. yeah, look, I think that's really interesting because, like, okay, look, my family is basically the polar opposite of what you're describing, yeah. okay? But I think it's a double-edged sword in a way. Yeah. Let me uh, let me describe it. So, basically, uh, we uh, moved to New York, but before that, we actually weren't, like, as well off as we were now we weren't poor but we weren't mm -hmm. like uh, perfectly well off either we were paying off like a pretty hefty mortgage and all that um yeah so uh i i learned how to uh like conserve money and to uh be very money cautious as well mm -hmm. but then when we went to new york and like now both of my parents are working we're making a crud load of money they yeah. just let us buy whatever we, we <laughs> want, and it, it freaks be, me that, out now yeah, because that, that I be grew scary. up like being conservative, and, and my little brothers are just going on Amazon, being like, "Oh, a little uh, oh my plushie. god, I want it," and they buy it immediately. And I'm like, oh, "No, Christ, oh, no. yeah, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah. No!" And just start and, like, choking my them. Are, like, fine, they're fine with it, and like, and, and then, and then, uh, with like, uh, wasting times on screens and stuff. Like, um, I, I don't want to call out my brother, but uh, we got. Uh, he wanted a PS5 when it came oh out. Oh my god! And I, I was like, I was telling my parents, look, if he gets his hands on this, he's he's uh, <laughs> he, he keeps his mind on his schoolwork. But once he uh, is done with all his schoolwork in in uh, classes, he's just gonna do that. And that's yeah. why that's basically what he does, unless if I like drag him into doing a video with. Damn. Him. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, I'm actually actually with screen time stuff. We were only allowed to watch TV on a Wednesday night, and it was for an hour. We watched, you know, that, you know, oh, that that's about that, so that, weird. That, I don't know. You, that's, you, oh. you know, you know that thing called Survivor. Survivor, um, is like that one like TV show where like pretty much these people are on like an island, but it's like a one of those like over the top staged. Oh like, yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. Survi yeah that, that was that was our entertainment. Survive. I mean, it was called Survivor or like the um, Amazing Race or something where these people are like finding clues across oh the world. Oh my god. Th those are, or America's Got Talent on the summer. Those are the three things yeah. we had at home. Yeah, we used to just we used to have like a Friday night movie night where we mm -hmm. all like got together and used like a screen. It was like probably one of the most significant times we ever used yeah. a digital device. But now everyone's got little, little tablets and yeah. iPads everywhere, and n no one's yeah, like. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Coming. Yeah, it was. Like, well, it's weird, like, like especially like dinner table. Like for example, like dinner time. Like that's the most important time for like people. Like you, if you like, pretty much like, um. When oh, it comes yeah. to electronic, when it comes when it comes to electronics, like if you have your electronic, like I'm, for example, when we were coming home from the cabin, we're not allowed to have our like phone. We're not even allowed to have our phones out because Dad will like yell at you, or, like glare at you, and say, "What are you doing?" And so pretty much you have to keep your phone out, and he doesn't even like asking conversations about stuff because it always turns into school or you know you know how it is. We're just pretty much like lecturing and like any anything that I've ever brought to like my family members, it's always somehow led back to lecturing. And it's like it's the most painful uh. thing ever because like no matter like how how loving yeah. anyway so back to screen time yeah and we we had like no screen time we were only allowed to have sodas on saturdays oh my god growing up yeah, yeah. We, uh uh my my family is uh very uh strict about uh bringing money uh, sorry bringing uh, like phones at the dinner table and all that yeah at the least so uh there's that yeah which i think is a good yeah, that's understandable yeah mm -hmm. i know with like if i ever have kids i don't think i'm ever giving them like fucking phones or tablets until like, until they're like 15 or 16 i don't know yeah. i yeah that's yeah that's definitely I, yeah i was at least allowed to have an ipod and a track phone mm -hmm. which are like those little tiny slide phones when i was like in fifth grade because i was a part of track and also an ipod i got for christmas yeah. and that's kind of like the thing is like it's i don't really think that's when i like of course like you know everyone's like anyone who owns a phone usually um it's addictive to have you know because of the serotonin and stuff but like um uh having it you know is nice but things like beforehand i was doing the same exact thing with my hobbies like i was either you know playing with legos 24 7 before i'd get bored of or drawing or something i was always like i have like over five thousand like feels like it but i don't actually have that many but i have like five thousand comic books that i made before i actually got my ipod and that ipod became like my entire life 
and for a while like you know it became too much of my life and i think that's because of me being you know not being able to have that 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 friendship or like those that sort of like that relationship of friends outside of school and so it became my everything because like for once being like a kid who thought he was alone pretty much like i my like all the way up till seventh grade i didn't understand how the world worked i i pretty much just either climbed tree like i was pretty much one of those like those 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 horror stories of like like someone like not seeing the outside world like not like not meeting another human like their entire life like that's how i was like outside like ever meeting people like outside of school because like, i had like my mom did home daycare so there's like other kids to interact with but they're like younger in that sense mm -hmm. so i actually i was like very actually like, socially stunted when i actually got in high school and so it was really awkward like freshman year was really strange like i'd understand people's cues i'd understand like a lot of that stuff and because i didn't know when like someone would like be like making fun of me or someone was like being genuine with me and it's so, like that was like kind of hellish like I, I over time like learned how to like learn cues but like, even now it's like it's a it's a moral battle to like um tell people no sometimes i think that's just because like how i was raised with like always having to do what i was told in that sense damn yeah and so I, I for sure know that like for me it was helpful but at the same time like i i, I see how addicting it is like I, I there's so many kids especially now like we call them ipad babies like it's they're like they're 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 social they're socially fucked like they, they will not be they will not like be able to do anything when they're older they're gonna have so many like um like learning disabilities because of being on their phones yeah uh i i don't even know what's gonna happen with uh gen alpha that, like, oh my god it's, it's gonna it's gonna be bad like they're fucked <laughs> when, 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 when you see when you see like a kid who's like in grade school like really early grade school like being like a furry or like like being a part of a community oh, like, no. It's, it's, no no it, it's like I, I was dating this one girl like i remember when quarantine first started yeah. and um her little sister was a furry like like was like a, and she like and she was a raptor or something it was like a raptor oh, furry yeah. or like a scaly okay, okay, or something okay. and like and she was really young and she just had like unlimited access to the internet Ugh. And because of that, she she had like she knew everything about like inappropriate stuff. Like she just it was just terrible. Like just seeing this like this young like young you know kid just acting like she was a teenager. It was like the it, it hurt my soul to see her that way because I like literally I luckily enough had a way too um, simplistic childhood, yeah. like very simplistic, very like plain, very boring. And her being constantly overstimulated, like you know, like just seeing these kids like have all this like access to all these things. It truly terrifies me because, like, like it just—it's so strange seeing the world go from like you know all having to go onto the family computer together to watch like a single video, you know, compared to now electronics are everywhere, everything's being blasted everywhere, like hateful stuff's being shown everywhere. Like it just—that's not good for like a kid to grow up on. Like, I I didn't really actually realize how like shitty like like there's a lot of stuff in the world until I was a lot older, but like a lot of these kids are like seeing like how terrible the world is. Like imagine like how they're gonna live their entire life just feeling you know like knowing that there's like something terrible happening in the real world you know what i mean like war like just um, there's it just it makes me feel terrible for this generation and if i could i would completely just take away all their like i'd be like some like big old grandma and be like give me all your shit and like i would like take all their like their like their you know their phones you know like give them like a hug because like it's i'm i'm yeah. scared for the generation like alpha i'm just scared of what their rest of their life's gonna be yeah because of everything they're being exposed to definitely absolutely it's uh it's it's an unknown this is uh the first generation to get like access to information so yeah. quickly and like it's they don't like need to retain it dude i don't even know how to do cursive correctly anymore <laughs> i used to be so cool and like i used to do so good yeah. i was so good at current i can't we don't use current we don't use cursive for shit now like i'm I, glad we don't i when, when i like when i'm running when i'm writing a bill out like on, like when i'm writing a check i have to look up the cursive system just to understand because i know how to do my name correctly i know how to do certain things like how do you do a j how yeah. do you do like a h you know how do you do like an I, like an i is easy for example but, like how do you do a capital like it just i've i realize how far i've gone from like i really feel like also like just being on your electronics really just completely just stunts everything like you know like sit down like read a book and stuff like dude i haven't i haven't sit down like enjoyed like like had a fun time reading a book since like i was probably like a freshman freshman or sophomore in high school yeah. like just like a, a a book i mean well, i guess i guess like uh, yeah. out, out, outside of school that didn't involve a school system thing i did not read a book but like i i loved reading inside of school like i have any any class related stuff like i have for example currently i have an a plus in communications and language oh, okay. and like english but like that's because that just comes really natural to me but then like 
outside of school, I used to read a lot. And, like, I don't read now. Like, I, like, I read the entire Harry yeah. Potter series oh, when I was, Lord. like, a freshman. Like, really, like, pretty much, like, in, like, the span of, like, a like a month or, like, an, I don't even remember how long it was, but whoever it was was impressive. And I was like, really? damn. Yeah, bad. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, love, I, I loved reading, but I realized how, because of electronics, I don't have the desire to read anymore. Yeah. But, uh, I, I did, uh, when I, back to cursive, whenever <laughs> I have to write a signature, uh, I just scribble now. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't even, yeah. like, keep it, like, coherent or I'm, anything. I just scribble it down. So now I can play fraud whatever I want. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm still, like, I'm still just sli- ever so slightly fluent in, um, in that. It's so, like, I, for example, I did, like, a, I did, like, a, let me find it. I did a signature for my for a few things yeah. i'm trying to remember i, I know how to i know though. how to write in cursive i'm just not very good at it uh i i think i still remember the only letter i don't know is a z oh wow. i don't know how to i don't know how to do a z in cursive but the, the whole alphabet i still know how to do i think <laughs> yeah. the year. Um, <laughs> oh before we move on from the topic of college and stuff though i do want to mm-hmm. say this i remember talking to um aviator man like uh and this was probably like a month or so after like yeah. we started like regularly talking mm-hmm. and yeah. uh he told me that uh he got out of high school and he wasn't gonna uh pursue college and for me that at, at first it was like really alien i was like yeah You're not gonna yeah. Go to college. yeah i was like yeah i was like you're gonna be a freaking failure you're freaking Literally every, like, yeah, everybody <laughs> no that, that's yeah. unfortunate that, that's how my dad made me feel like anyone who doesn't anyone who doesn't get a high job or anyone who doesn't go to college is like gonna be a failure like a little like artsy fartsy yeah. like science major i mean like, art major is gonna like not go anywhere in life and, like die because yeah. you can literally yeah, go I, yeah you I, can I, go into labor and like labor work <laughs> like hard labor and you can literally just get paid that way have a comfortable life and literally just buy whatever the fuck you want with the money you earn and yeah i understand that you're working more but who gives a fuck you're you're getting the money you want and basically that's that's how i do it if i get money i don't care so (laughs) yeah but if plumber plumbers make a fuck ton of money plumbers make like like that 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 manual labor now is getting really because ever since since it is such a huge thing now i just all that like people are like desperately needing like like people just do like that type of physical labor now but i also do care for my happiness too like um like yeah. i know like it depends how much like i'm working for what pay like fast food i don't think they i don't think any fast food place gets paid the way they should because the fast food is so fucking much but they get paid like mm-hmm. butt fuck bro straight up <laughs> yeah well th- this this summer i'm gonna be working as a lifeguard like a really high like a really like is it like, like i don't know if you guys know but state farm has a pool like a professional mm-hmm. pool like a swimming pool like place because um Illinois is where it like originated from, so it's that's like the main corporate place. Like, there's a pool there, like a really giant pool. Damn. And only like pretty much practically like a VIP. Only only people who like who who parents are like work or people anyone who like somehow works or like is associated with State Farm can go into it. We can bring a Jeez, guest or something, please. which is yeah. It de- they de- it's like a VIP pool. But they don't they for, for the last few years they've only been paying me eleven dollars. Wow. Like and like. But then this year they're finally up bumping it up just to fourteen dollars oh, an hour. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I know with this new job I have, I'm getting I'm getting paid fifteen and I'm getting tips. So I'm like, bro, it's 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 chilling so far. Cause the casino, well, I'm working at a casino right now, and dude, Ooh, the, like, oh, shit. oh my god, dude, tips are yeah. Good. Cause the customers, whenever, like, whenever they get a jackpot, they can tip a hundred dollar tip, and basically we just split that with the um the employees and every and every 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 uh jackpot. There's always bound to be a tip. Like, doesn't matter who it is. And there's always like five to six jackpots a day usually, so, oh, oh my god, man, making dude, making crazy. bank. And the thing is, like, I, I'm I'm using this job to get the things I want. Like, once I save up, I'm gonna get myself a car I want. I'm gonna get that film camera I want, and mm. I'm gonna just basically using the money to spend on the hobby I like to do. That's kind of like the yeah. idea of like why I don't want to go to college because I don't want to be paying for something and taking the time to just read a book or, or read read a tutorial how to how to do a mask or how to you know, transition a screen or how to, you know, I don't know, like write the flow of a story. I can look that up on YouTube. I have friends who yeah. to collaborate with to talk about this and to build upon structures of stories and stuff like that. And yeah. um, just going to college for what I want to do doesn't seem worth it. Like, but the, the things that are necessary, yeah. like let's say a doctor or, you know what I mean? Or a lawyer or other stuff. I think that's logical to go to college. And I think that requires mm-hmm. actual study. And that's something YouTube can't teach you. <laughs> so exactly. And um, that's, that's, that's my exact predicament. That's kind of like why I'm keeping on bringing, I guess like that whole like after thing right now because since I'm changing majors I'm really really trying to figure out is do I just go into video and like you know like majoring I mean like uh film and digital media because that'll like be just good because like I can say oh yeah I know how to do these things and just have that because that'll help a lot more than 
you know, I, and that's what's hard. Is like, I'm trying to figure out if I want a marketing degree. But like when I say marketing, like it involves like calculus, involves like two, like it just involves a, a ton of like, co like classes. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be just like how I was the, these last two years where I'm just doing, 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 you know? Yeah. And so like my issue is like, if I'm doing, if I want to get into marketing, I'm going to have to like stay another semester at, you know, at the college where I don't really want to be at right now. Cause it's a community college, you know, it's, it's, it's job is n meant to help you transfer over to somewhere else. And it's like right now I'm doing right now I'm like taking classes that counts at the big college I'm going to, which is ISU. So my issue is that I I'm really if I go into film and digital media, I can I I'm I'm like I'm able to go next semester. Like I'm there, like I'm this fall I'm I'm at ISU. Yeah. But like what I'm scared of is I don't want to, you know, go through all of this and then feel like I'm gonna have to go back and like redo one of the like go back and do one of the majors or something. Like go back and be like, oh man, I should have like for example I go into marketing and like no one's like it's like, oh you don't really have any stuff like that but i realized like if i go into marketing i then can get you know the, the class like i can just say oh yeah i already have you know like editing experience in real life you know mm -hmm. and i won't i won't need a degree for that but for example if i'm going to a actual marketing degree if i like if i find out that video editing isn't good but, like the thing is video editing is like my passion you know and so i really figured i could i could go a long way with that you know because i can network i can make all these connections so yeah and so that's what I'm that's what I'm really debating right now because the thing is with my with my father with my dad he pretty much and if I if I were to go in video editing he pretty much it feels like he, practically he's gonna disown me he found out I had earrings and pretty much was like pissed yeah. at me like he was angry at me and he, he doesn't you know, it's, 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 so that's like it's it's a sick scary scenario where you start you need to, like you need to live for yourself yeah. but at the same time it's like what your parents do say sometimes do have actual meaning behind it so it's really hard to like really go for like do i go for like you know something i'm passionate about that I, I feel like i could do well in or am i should i fall and like do what they want me to do and so yeah that i'm in i'm in a like i'm like a limbo i'm in like a limbo right now i'm like purgatory right now trying to battle that out because the, the school year's ending really close and the more the more closer the school year gets the more close you know like class is already like getting like you know picked up or like you know, selected by a people. Yeah. So it's like, it's, it's, it's yeah, what I, I would recommend is start getting that independence for yourself. I'd recommend like, um, I know my friend, Dr. Wabowski, uh, he's a uh, Nate Lerma. He, uh, basically he, he's studying for film scripting. So he's going to be studying how to write films and stuff like that. And basically yeah. the whole guideline to how to, you know, write and what is behind a film and stuff like that. So he's in script writing and basically yeah. he he's been studying for so fucking long and he and basically he's he's working like two different jobs but i think you still work a full-time job but i'd recommend just finding a job either pair up some with two roommates who you know you can really trust and they work jobs as well and get yourself a place split the rent with yourselves and you obviously you know you can pay for yeah. it and then and have that time to really study for yourself without having to worry about people always watching over your back and stuff like that or really just stalking you like yeah. it. so I, I wasn't allowed i wasn't allowed to move out by the way oh well, I don't know. With, with, yeah, I was. I wasn't. I was even. I was even allowed to move yeah, out. With, he pretty much said, with yeah, that, I'm that's gonna. Out. That's really on you, dude. You really gonna have to. Yeah. Push against your. Complete. It's complete. It's complete. Yeah. It's complete. Your choice. Yeah. The thing is, it's like, you know, you if you're gonna do something like that, you're gonna get. You're gonna like get like very much like a manipulative, you know, like behavior. Yeah. They're gonna be like, oh man, like why would you do this? You know, like you're gonna waste so much stuff. You know, yeah. you're gonna be, you know, or why do you, like why don't you care about? You'll be. You will be. You will be scared, life. but you gotta understand, like you already understand the situation and what your parents are going to do anyway. So just stay kind of aware of the fact exactly. like of what might happen in the future and stuff like that. And again, I'm not telling you you need to do this, but I'm saying is if you want more okay. relief for yourself and more, you know, comfortability for yourself, I just would recommend to move out with mm -hmm. people you already trust and have more comfortability with. Yeah, exactly. And that's, that's, that's things like, um, you guys have seen them. For example, there's, there's, um, Brayden and Holden. Yeah. Brayden is the guy who play who plays as, um, Richard Vandalin. Yes. And um, him, he wants to room with me in the future. Mm -hmm. Holden, who is the guy who plays the cameraman or plays as the nerd, mm -hmm. and you know, in Ghost Hunters and the Frogman, he wants to room with me. And then there's another guy who's like doing like like video editing. Yeah. Like he, I think he's like doing more like majoring in like a, uh, I guess like film stuff, movie stuff. He also wants to room. So, like we might have like a, f a, four, a four person room in like a year. That'd or two. be cool. That'd and be so, really really cool. Then you guys can have, like all have that time together to really. You know, if you guys want to create projects together, or even just even want to collaborate, exactly. I'm actually, yeah, actually next next um weekend, I'm actually going to be a part of a professional short film again. Hey. So I've so far been in one. I'm about to be in a second one, which is a um, nice. I, I don't know what's called. It's I don't know what's called, but Braden is playing as a, I think a main actor in mm -hmm. it for this one, and then I am going to be doing the behind the scenes footage, as well as 
doing interviews with people like who are part of the set and stuff so i'm gonna be i have two roles that i just picked up um i've been aware of it for a while but i just figured out i'm just now going to be um i got officially like yeah i'm gonna be a part of this and stuff he's like bet so i get a, he actually suggested that i bring my camera to record this stuff so i'm like okay bet so i'm coming in with my camera to record you know all that stuff and like just be there for that so it's gonna be it's gonna be nice because i i'm a very extra as you guys hear from how I, much i speak i'm i'm very much of an extroverted person but because of my predicament i am stuck at home and therefore i'm not able to have um uh, as much social interaction as i want because i'm going to a community college and everyone's there you know like they don't they're not in the air they're they're pretty much like oh i'm like 30 minutes away like oh i'm here or oh i'm online but like when i'm going to be able to go to this big college like there's going to be so much stuff i'm going to be able to do i'm going to be like i'm going to be pretty much at that place all day you know and i'm just gonna have to you know what do you call that drive 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 back drive you know for just that type of stuff you know just commute so i'm gonna have to commute there in the morning but i'm gonna have my own parking spot and stuff it's gonna be nice mm. All right. So, um, I don't mean to, yeah. I don't mean to cut you off. Uh, I think I do got to head off soon. No, it's perfect. Yeah. I mean, two hours. It's, <laughs> it's good, good long mm-hmm. time. This, this is not this. This whole conversation did not go the way I expected them. This is very, it's very, qu- it's quite nice. Very, uh, very deep. you know, very personal. I may say. <laughs> Remnant podcast is the most uh, unexpectable podcast of them all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> Oh, thank, thank you guys for having me. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, Orange Man, is there anything else you wanted to say? Kind of cap everything off or? Uh, not really. I think uh, this was a nice uh, conversation. We had Jerry the Afro Man come back on to the podcast. I think Woo-hoo! we'll have him on plenty other times in the future. Hell yeah. Be pretty mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Yeah. All right, Orange Man, you can do the outro this time. All right, guys. This was what? The, the 13th episode? Yes. The 13th episode of the Remnant Podcast, and we'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Adios. Woo. Motherfucker.